Hello everyone, I'm Peace of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends. And as you see, we are going way earlier than we, uh, you know, we decide to do. This is why we have not too many waiting yet, but doesn't matter really. Uh, our topic today is about uh, some silly people, you know, silly. And don't be offended, even though I'm here to offend everybody, who cares? Actually, it's about offending people, you know, the topic today, somehow. Uh, from time to time, I receive a comment or email from people who want to school me or teach me how to talk. And today I will share example, for sure we will not share any private information about the person. I feel those people, you know, they need help more than they are. I'm not here to accuse them of anything, but they need help. And I will give you a sample of things I receive. Insulting, deeming, and cruelly attacking people is any Christ like. This is how a Christian he sent me his support. Insulting, deeming, and cruelly attacking people is in Christ. For. First of all, you idiot. How I can be attacking people? I don't even know the people I'm talking to. I'm attacking the idea, the belief. And now I call you idiot because obviously you do not know the Bible. And we will show you. Because Jesus, he insulted people who they are like that. If we ask this person who is giving me a lecture about how to be Christ-like, did this person her ever heard that Jesus, he went to the temple? And he flipped the tables on those who made the house of his father a market for buying and selling. And he gave them all the ugly description they, descri they, they, they deserve. And remember those, they were Jews, which means they believe in the true God. They are not atheists. They are not Muslims kissing black stone. They are not Hindus. They are not Buddhas. So this is an example of some of those Christians when they want to remember Jesus and they want to be Christ-like. Christ-like for them is just to go in the street and give hugs. This is a Christ-like for them. But this is absolutely not what Jesus taught. A person who know the Bible really and he speak about being Christ-like, he should know what Christ looked like first. When I talk about the look here, I'm talking about his teaching. You are not like the Muslims who care for the white Muhammad. I find I have virtually stopped listening now, or I turn off after a short while because, although you can sometimes be full of grace and kindness with the caller, most often I find you attacking them cruel. You see, here you see how, how shallow some people are. You just shoot yourself in the foot. So, the way I talk to people is the way they are. As an example, why I want to be so nice with some callers and I will not be so nice with some others? Did you ask yourself? Also, this is your words, not my words. You can sometimes be full of grace and kindness with the caller. But did you ask yourself why? Go watch it. You will see the guy is not playing the devil, trying his best to lie. We say the Quran say the sun set in murky water. The guy he says it's it says it's appeared to him. I said to him, show me where. Where it says the word it appeared to him. Allah reporting how the sun set. So I repeat the question one thousand time, and then imagine if you are in my place and this person he keep repeating the lie. So what I will call him? You are a good man, or I will say you are a liar, or I will say you are the son of Muta which means follower of a sexual pleasure marriage. You have no dignity. So I'm kind with some people <clears throat> when they are kind to themselves. I don't need people to be kind to me. Don't be kind to me. I don't care. I'm here ready for the good and the bad. If I'm not qualified to talk to all kinds of people, then I should not be here. So. 
He himself, he noticed, that I can be so kind. But the silly he did not ask himself why I can be so kind with some callers. I mean, am I taking a side of a caller and against other caller? I don't know both. But the more you try to lie, I appreciate honesty. And actually, honesty make my job difficult, more difficult. And I will tell you why. Let us say not more difficult. Let us say not fun. Because when a Muslim he lie, like yesterday, we told him the hadith is speaking about the wives of Muhammad fighting about gift, which is money anyway. The guy he says, well, it says gift, you are lying. And he says, I will show everybody that you are a donkey. Okay. Then we got him busted as usual. That is fun for me. Those liars, those liars are the best way to expose Islam because the, the you know, when the Bible says your father is, you know, all lies is from who? From the devil. Your father, the devil. So how we can prove to people that Islam belongs to the devil is by the liars defending Islam. So when people, they notice that this Muslim is doing, he's so depressed to defend by lying, then Islam lose the ground so fast. Now, I have to be cruel and I have to be aggressive because if I give them hugs, they will, we will never be able to get them busted. Go and watch any videos of those is made by, like, so let, I will give you an example. James White. James White, he put somebody in the stage, like uh, a Muslim, you know. How would feel, he asked him, James White, how would feel to be a Muslim in America? This is the question. I mean, this guy is bringing a Muslim guest to his church to show them what Islam, and now he is trying to present Muslim as somebody he have no right in America. He's a poor, we have to support him, you know. How would feel to be a Muslim in America? And the guy from Pakistan, why you don't ask him how to feel to be Christian in Pakistan? Where people tortured, get killed, and the Muslims, he complained once they check my back. Look, look how horrible his life in America as a Muslim. They check his back, they check my back just because I'm an Arab. I'm not even a Muslim. Because of Islam, each time I go on an airplane, I have a special security check just because I'm a Middle Eastern. But James White, how would it feel to be a Muslim in America? And then the guy, he says, you know, I tell you, once they check my back, what a horrible discrimination. He found a piece of paper. But James White did not make one Muslim leave Islam. James White, he attacked Christianity. And he supports Islam, and he says, whoever says Islam as all is terrorism, he's a liar. Is that true? Absolutely false. So, if you are a person who likes hugs and lying and liars, go and watch James White. I'm here fighting the devil himself. And here I find it very stupid that you are sitting in your chair, speaking to someone, he might get killed for, the, for what he say. For what he do. And you are schooling that person who destroyed Islam. If you go right now and see, uh, as an example, if we ask Indonesian, which, which is the most harmful name for Islam in Indonesia? Eh, ask that. I'm not going to tell you. The Indonesian will tell you. You see, when Islam considers a person a threat, that means he is a threat to Islam. All those who give hugs, they are not a threat because simply they are not doing any harm to Islam. So those are annoying Christians. They are like bugs. Sorry to use the word, but as you know, I am a cruel. I use a cruel word. So instead of encouraging me, says we support you, we stand with you. Uh, no, a person risking his life, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
No, you know, they are cruel. What, what, how I should deal with this religion? Religion of terrorism. And all those dummies don't understand that Islam made Muslims believe that a kindness is a sign of weakness. Kindness is a sign of weakness. So a Muslim, he tried to intimidate you. So they try in the beginning, they threat me, they want to kill me, etc. And then they give up. The guy, he don't care, obviously. And really, honestly, I don't care. If I live a day more or day less, who care? I'm a Christian, I'm a believer. I die today, I die tomorrow. I would die once, you cannot kill me twice. And death is coming. But the naive ones, who they come to us, speaking that we should be talking different to, okay, go and show me those who talk different to the Muslims, how much Islam they, how much Islam is you know, harmed by them. How much he exposed Islam. In order to expose a liar, you have to call him a liar. And in order to say a liar, you have to show the lies. And in order to show the lies, I have to show Muhammad the fornicator, Muhammad the child molester, Muhammad the son of Muta, Muhammad the donkey. If those words hurt you, I never use the, the F word to somebody. This is my word. So what is offending you? I use the word penis. Well, this is Islam. If Muhammad says, Allah will make your penis endless, what I should say, Allah will make your zucchini endless, so your majesty will not be offended. And suddenly you became a person who never heard of the word penis. Maybe you don't have one. Maybe you never saw one. Maybe in the country you live in, nobody have it. So what do those people mean by cruel? When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Most often I find you, you attack them cruel, uh, personal and high embarrassing. Yeah. Well, my friend, I'm here to make the person who called me to lie under high embar like embarrassing situation. And the idiot you do not notice that when millions of people later you know, watch those videos, they will notice one thing only. They will not care how cruel I am. They will care how much lies the person said. So if I was lying, that's what they will care for. If he was lying, that they will care for. Because we are here, we are not fighting box, physical boxing, you know. We are here to expose lies. Who is saying the truth? Who is saying lies? That's all. The language between is for the purpose of the topic. The silly you, you focus not in the topic, you focus in how we do the topic. But anyone who have little brain, he will understand, in order to reach that point where we force a liar to be exposed, we have to go through a process. He's a liar. He will keep jumping from corner to corner. And I have a request for people who watch us here. Please don't come here if you are a person don't like me the way I talk. I never saw to you I'm a priest or I'm a bishop. I never said to you I am even Christ-like. You don't like the way I talk, my friend, just get out. Uh, let me use the cruel word, get lost. Literally, get lost. If you are truly saved by his blood, look, now he is a question if I am truly saved or not. His majesty, he is God now. And spiritually, alive to God, you are representative of Yeshua to all those. Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, this guy, obviously, he never heard what Yeshua said. Let me give you a lesson to the city people like you. Hypocrite. Christians, you are no Christian. This is Matthew chapter 23. So if I decide to use the word Jesus used, I don't think you are going to say to me, I'm not being nice. I think you will basically say to me, this guy is really nice now, right? I mean, the holy chapter is an insult. 
You fool! <laughs> you fool and blind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you see that? You see the idiot? Shall I say you fool? No, you cannot say that. You are being cruel. Okay, hold on. I will not use fool. Blind? No, don't say blind. Don't say blind. Okay, well, let us see something else. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, so choose for me a verse you think it's good to use from now on. What do you think? Hypocrites. Wait, should I use uh, verse number 23? What do you think? Verse number 23, that look good. For me, maybe it doesn't look good for you because Jesus obviously is being cruel. He is speaking to Rabbi, the master of law. What he called them? Hypocrites. What hypocrites mean? Do you know what hypocrites mean? When you say to somebody hypocrite, you strip him from everything. You strip him from his dignity. He is not legitimate no more. From his belief. From what he say, loud, because he do the opposite. You strip him from being God follower. Simply, the person became a demon when you is a hypocrite. He's evil, he is the devil himself. And Jesus, not only he called them hypocrites, he explained to them why. And this is what I do. But the silly you asking me to speak like Jesus. Maybe verse number 24 will be will do to you. You hypocrite! You guided of uh, uh, the, the the blind like the blinded who they are claiming to be the guidness. You take a mosquito from your dish, but you swallow the camel. Like we don't see the camel. Where is the camel? We did not see the camel. There was a camel. We saw the mosquito. A we to you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrites. That is Jesus' word. You hypocrite people, you clean around the cup, but inside the cup, inside the dish is so dirty, filthy. And this is what the hypocrite shakes they do. They want to show you that they are doing evolution. They pray in the corners. Actually, even Jesus spoke about them. They pray in the corners. He said, don't be the same as those hypocrites who pray in the corners. When you pray, go to your... So you will see that all what Jesus is saying is insulting. Because who is the one who's going to be insulted when Jesus says, don't be the same as those hypocrites who pray in the corners? The one who will be insulted is those who pray in the corners. So, did Jesus mean to say so? Yes, absolutely. Is he aware that he is insulting them? Is he aware that they are hearing him? Sure. But your majesty is saying to me, be like Christ, Christ-like. Huh? They, fill of, they are full of filth. Inside out. But they wear nice clothing. They claim that they are practicing the law. They claim that they are religious. They grow their beard. They wear the rabbi hat or the rabbi uh, whatever you know, cover. And then people show respect to them. And people give them money. And people treat them like kings. But in reality, they are the biggest scam ever. Or maybe I should say, or talk, like uh, verse number 29. Because maybe 27 is not, not, not nice, you know. I will be nicer. What about 29? 
or uh, 28 huh so what do what those people mean when I am being cruel oh maybe I should from now on call liars snakes because that will be nicer I guess aren't you asking me to be Christ-like so those dummy I don't want to say this person he have an intention to be a bad person but I want to say he is without intention he is a dummy he do not know his book claim he called me but my Skype is not open do you think I am you know even Allah he have to come every third part of the night to receive messages even Allah himself he cannot receive your messages all day long you have to come in the third part of the night to the lowest heaven so the idiot who says he's calling me he's calling me when my Skype is closed I mean doesn't even show in your side that he is offline this is just another dummy I'm not in pal talk I am not in Skype now don't repeat yourself otherwise I will block you please and don't tell me guys there's a person wanna call you one time and that's enough you see people are excited they wanna see a fight nobody's listening how important what we are saying all what they care for somebody wanna call me and then we will get him busted this is the joy I'm here for a different reason. I'm here to get them busted, not because I enjoy getting them busted, but I enjoy getting the shaitan, the Satan busted. We are reading for them the Bible, we are explaining the Bible, and all what they care, there's a guy, his name is Fuzzy, he wanna fuzz me. Just wait for your time, Fuzzy. You will be fuzzed. It will be fuzzed as much as you want. We will fuzz you, you know. We will make a website for you, like www.fuzzme.com. I mean, your God, Allah Himself, don't dare to come to me, you. Yeah. So, shall I use the language of Jesus, and that will make some of those who call themselves Christians happy? Hmm. Ye serpent, ye generation of vibers. Shall I use that? Maybe this person, he never heard of this chapter. You don't. I mean, how he will hear it? They are deaf, they are blind. Like when you ask them, did you hear that Jesus says the one who don't have a sword go on by one? They says, well, Jesus never say that. You know, those kind of Christians, they remind me of something real happening in my life. We used to do hiking. This is a long time ago when I was, you know, before I became 80, I used to be young, you know. And then we used to do hiking. And I'm the only one who have a gun with him. For me, I like to have a gun with me. I mean, wherever I go, this is my my business. But for those Christians, this is not nice. I mean, you are Christian, you should not have a gun. Oh, come on. This is how they understand Christianity. A Christian person don't carry a gun. But isn't Peter was carrying a sword? I mean, isn't it even documented in the Bible? Isn't it Jesus says, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one? Okay. So we go. You know, and each time I go, I see in their look how upset they are from me having the gun. And even they don't even shy to say, why you bring it with you? Why somebody coming for hiking need a gun? Why you do that? I say, this is my business. So always they insult me because I have a gun. Until one day, there was a huge storm, rain, and we start hearing the, the wolves the beast getting close to us suddenly all those amazing beautiful Christians 
they come to me and says, your gun is with you, right? I said, yeah, but I have one bullet. I was joking, you know. They said, only one bullet? Why one bullet? From people who are insulting me, each time we go with them, they insult me for carrying a gun. Suddenly, those who don't like guns, who hate guns, they were asking me, do you have a gun? Your gun with you, right? You have your gun with you? I say, yeah, but I have one bullet to protect myself. And you should see them. They are gathering around me, even holding me because they are getting so close. I said, I cannot even shoot. Leave it in my hands. How I can shoot at them? So they make fun of you for doing the right thing. After that, each time we go hiking, they say, you got your gun with you, right? I said, yeah. I said, good, good, good. <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes. Hypocrites. Why if somebody here, you know, carry a gun, he's a bad person? Who said so? It's not guns who kill people, it's people who kill people. If you are a good person, gun can be used for good. A killer criminal, he can kill by his bare hands. You do not need a gun to kill. If you are a criminal, you can kill by a rock, you can kill by a knife, you can kill by a car, you can kill by anything. And if you're the one your victim is weak, you can kill him by your bare hands. Stupidity is amazing. So, this is my pain with some Christians who come to me from time to time and they give me a speeches. So I say to those Christians, do me a favor, don't come here. You are a good person. And a good person like you, you should not be listening to someone like me. You are a wonderful person. You are a person who follow God. Obviously. Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what you can say? I mean, this, they are not only like, they don't, like, just leave. Just go. You are the good guy. You don't fit here, my friend. Please go. Because you don't fit here, a person like you should not be here. Why a person, why a decent person, he will be here? Maybe I should go to John chapter 8. And from now on, I say, your father, the devil. You, you are of your father, the devil. I think that is a nice sentence. It's not a cruel. I mean, think about it. You say to a human being, you are of your father, the devil. Hmm, how nice. But now he will say to you, well, Jesus, Jesus saying that for those who they are liars. I'm saying the same for those who they are liars. I did not even say to them, your father is the devil. You are a murderer. Jesus said, you are what? You are a murderer like your father. Islam teach him murdering people with no mercy. I saw in the news a kid, he is, I don't know, 11, 12 years old, is going to face this death penalty for he curse Allah. Or he, he said something against the religion. 12 years old, as a kid. I mean, look, listen, if God, he punished the kid, I would say, okay, God, he made him, God, he take him, no problem. No, they will kill him. You are a murderer. You are lost like your father. He was a murderer from the beginning. You never for the truth. For your father have no truth in him. When he speak, he speak lies. This is what I deal with people every day. See, my program is not really a fun program. 
it's a fight it's a struggle with lies the second a Muslim he called me my expectation is how many lies he would do not how many truthful things he would say I never you know rarely you find the Muslim actually the only Muslims who say Islam as it is is Isis ISIS are way more truthful than any Muslim. Let's say, yes, the Prophet says, kill whoever changes religion. They will not say this is abrogated and those lies, and you know, they, uh, this is how it is, like it or not. Those are truthful Muslims. And talking to them is no fun for me, by the way. Because as I said, uh, I'm here to show you how stupid Islam is. And the clear sign of stupidity when somebody is ashamed of his Islamic religion, so he lie when he answer because if he is not ashamed, he will not lie about it. See, when somebody lie about what his God said and what his God meant, obviously he is telling you that he is ashamed, and because he's ashamed, he have to lie. If you ask me, did Jesus say this chapter? I say yes. Was he offending people? I say yes. I'm not going to be ashamed of the gospel. They are ashamed of the Quran. They are ashamed of their prophet words. That's why they say to you, some, many of them, it says, oh, we don't accept hadith. Or they say in the best scenario, oh, this hadith is weak. They are ashamed. It's a clear shine of shame. The one who keep asking me what kind of software is that do you think the right place and the right time I'm talking about the Bible this guy is busy with the software take care my friend go to the football basketball basketball worshippers oh don't forget I saw in the news like I open my I haven't opened my phone for news Macy's, Macy's, he left there, I don't know what the team, and the people there, security and guard, Macy's, uh, Macy's were shippers, you know, the people are busy with Macy's, uh, Macy's, you know, Macy's left the team, and to that team, you know, stupid people, go, go, don't get close to me, sick, the world is upside down, and they are busy with Macy's, garbage in, garbage out, what you expect, and Mises get like he became like a god, you know. Mises, like, come on, Mises is moving from place. Mises arrived at the airport. Are you kidding me? He is there right now. Are you sure? And the whole country is waiting for Mises. There is corona. There's people dying. There's fire everywhere. There's people. They, 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 there's homeless. There's drugs. There's but Mises. Mises came. That's it. Mises will solve all our problem with his foot, brother. You are no better than Muhammad worshiper. Mises, fake people, right? Thank you, good news. Luke ten nineteen. Yeah, this is a good verse too. Yeah. Well, I mean, but here you see the silly, those silly who claim to be Christians who know the Bible. You see, Jesus was crucified for a reason. He offended them non-stop. He offended them when he claimed to be the Son of God. He offended them when he claimed that he is God on earth. He offended them when he said to them, you are liars, you are hypocrites, you are thieves. He offended them. And because of that, they were desperate to crucify him. This is the truth. And the verse our friend here, our brother Good News, he, he posted. Uh, Jesus, he gave us the power over the head of the snake. And that's what we do. So if you are a person who, you know, you think that we are not, you are not in the right place, my friend, don't come here. Go and do your own work. You know, why those people don't go open their channel? How many, you know, you remind me, this person remind me of an Orthodox bishop. He's a nice person, by the way, this bishop. I, I respect him, but, but you know, I mean, sometimes even, even old people, they say silly stuff. 
He said to me, why you do this? What you are getting from this? I said, okay, Bishop. He's, I don't know, he's maybe in his 70, 80, I'm not sure, he's really old. I mean, this person is not even bishop no more. Like, he's a bishop. He used to be bishop. He's a retired bishop. Because he's too old. What are you getting from this? So I said to him, okay, Father, you know what? Uh, uh, how many Muslims you made them leave Islam and accept Christ during your lifetime as a bishop in a church? Bishop, you know, big deal. He said, none. I said, ask me the same question. <laughs> how embarrassing and he is the bishop I'm not behold I give into you power to treat this serpent and the scorpions and all over the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you and but you know hurting you here is not really about just something physical because Jesus himself was crucified right all the disciples of Jesus were killed or crucified or they've been feed it to the beast nothing can hurt you for you are going to be saved so there is many they will be upset because of what we do and because of what we say and if the rabbis themselves they were so upset from Jesus so why I will be surprised all right, so we will step. We will stop here. Uh, you know, you can you can enjoy reading the rest of the verses here in John eight. Actually, I advise you always to open the Bible from time to time. You know, if you can't do it every day, I know that some people they are too busy to to give God five minutes, but you can do it. You know, you can install the Bible in your phone. And you can read a few verses, you know, when you are drinking your coffee, in the break time, lunch time, you know. And th that will, will feed you with something, uh, you know, like uh, way more important than the vitamin you take. Because simply an empty hearted person is a very easy target to be deceived. You are empty from inside. This is why you see in the West there's a lot of emptiness. Why? Because many people stay away from the gospel. And it appears everywhere. But I believe, and I believe strongly, that a human being, because he is, his nature is bad, is a bad person. He come back to God when things is bad. You know what I mean? When the fire in the door, we say God. When sickness is killing us, we say, God, please save me. But when I'm healthy, when I'm strong, when I'm young, I don't know who is God. I don't want to even hear about him. I will laugh about people speaking about him. But the second this person is devastated with something, right away he seeks refuge and help. He says, God, Jesus. They curse Jesus every day. They remember him only when they are weak. So I say we are strong always with Jesus and I will be cruel with the one who no one should be nice to him. That is the devil. My argument is not with people. My argument is with the devil and I will never be nice to him. Muslims for me are victims. And Jesus said, I came to the sick, not to the healthy. There is something very important in order to wake up somebody from his drugs influence. His shocking method. If you say to him, Muhammad was not really a prophet. You did not give him still the idea, you know, Muhammad. He would say, no, he was. Okay, and we, we stop here. Because anything you say more is going to be insulting. Is saying to Muslims, Muhammad is a liar, is insulting? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, 
I mean, how ins it's very insulting. So what we stop? If we say that your father Muhammad, he said, the one who is proud about his inheritance, tell him to go and bite his father penis. Oh, you get offended, but this is what Muhammad said. Should I change the word? Should I be a hypocrite and say, bite your father hand? Those people, they are not welcome here. Those people who they claim that we are not speaking right. First of all, before you open your stupid mouth, don't you see how Muslims leave in Islam left and right because of what I say? So it's working very good. You see, I can say, okay, this guy have a right to say that because it's not working. You know, Muslims are not even Islam. But actually Muslims, they come here because the way I talk, not the opposite. Muslims avoid debating me. All Muslims, you know their names. They say we will debate him only face to face. Do you understand why? Because they knew I don't do it face to face. They fear they are intimidated by knowledge, by strength, by confidence. How sure he is. This is why when I say to a Muslim, are you sure? The guy right away, he start doing pipi. When I say to him, are you sure? And today we can give you an example. Is Mr. Fuzzy here? Fuzzy, the guy who wanted to talk to me. In, in, uh, are you here, my friend, Fuzzy? Your Majesty, the one who was desperate, who want to talk to me. He said he want to talk to me in, in Palto or in, in Skype. Are you there, Fuzzy? Do you want to fuzz with me? Well, if Fuzzy is still in the chat, let me know, please, so we can open. Yeah, his name is Fuzzy. Are you there? <clears throat> you know, when I was in the Middle East, Muslim, they said to me, how come you don't act like a Christian? I said, how is that? They say, you always have a gun with you. So who said Christians should not have guns? They say, always the Christians are like, you know, they don't, they don't, uh, uh, I mean, he, he, I know what he's saying. He's saying like, we abuse them. They don't seek justice. They don't defend themselves. And the reason the Muslim, they think of you this way, because the Quran, you see the filthy Muhammad, he taught them in the Quran that Allah, he put humiliation on us. He made us subdued to Muslims. So when a Muslim, he see a Christian is nice, he think that because Allah, he punished you. He made you a potato. Not because you, Jesus taught you to be kind and to be merciful, to be peaceful. No. For them, because Allah, he punished you, all of you, Christians and Jews. So a Muslim, he feel he is superior and he have the right to humiliate you, to spit in your face. This is why you see in the book of the Hadith, it says, Muhammad, he said, when you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, force him to the most narrow alley, which means force him to walk in the sewage. You have to spit at him. So Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran, chapter three, verse 112 saying that Allah, Allah, he placed that thing on them. He pitched over them. Do you see it? So when you are allowing them to do that to you, they believe in this. Because Allah, he gave them permission to be superior and you are their slave. With me, this verse is under my shoes. 
Allah is not superior and the devil I spit on him and no Muslim can intimidate me. So take a note. Now where are you Fuzzy? Are you there? What happened to Fuzzy? Okay, Fuzzy he flee. Yeah, this is what they do. You know, they are just kids. I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you. You know? Fuzzy is like the Muslim female who sent me a, a, an, an email once saying, So what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. It sounds like too much hate. What my voice have to do with it? Hey, Fuzzy. Why are you are fuzzing around? Anyway, we will open our Skype if there is any Muslim, any Mohammedan who worship Muhammad would like to, to uh, try his uh, luck today with us. Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? My Skype is open. No? All right, we will leave Skype open for a little, uh, little time to see if there's any Muslim is willing to call us. Now we go to another comment made by a Mohammedan about uh, let us see maybe this one he said to me your your book is written by a man why you follow a book written by a man that was a very smart comment his name the truth you take guidance from a book written by people to worship God how silly you are, CP. Okay, Abdul, Abdul, you know, no, I don't follow. I don't want to follow. I'm going to follow the Quran to receive guidance, brother. So I decide to do that from now on. By the way, your book is written by people, you idiot. Like, did your God print it in his, in his, in his library and he sent it down printed or people wrote it down? It's not even your prophet who wrote it. According to you Muslims, your prophet do not know even how to write, how to read. In the book written by people, idiot. But I'm going to follow your advice. I like to follow your advice. And brother, because you are asking me to follow the Quran, I mean the science of the Quran, I need your help, brother. You know, maybe you can help me. I'm going to go to Amazon to do shopping and I want to buy a stick because I'm planning to die standing and I don't want the genie to notice that I am dead. So what do you think what kind of wood I should buy because obviously there's a termite and the termite they will eat my stick. This is your Quran speaking about a prophet his name is Solomon. Suleiman in Arabic and he died standing for a year brother and because he was holding his staff nobody noticed for a year I mean the wives they come to him they say honey do you want to eat the guy he don't move nobody noticed he's dead I mean that's normal I mean the guy he is standing for a year there's no way he's dead he don't move, he don't sit, he don't go, he don't take a shower, he don't do poo poo, he don't eat, he don't have sex. He's a king, he have ministers, he's an army, he have the, sir, the general wanna talk to you. The general gets in and says, sir, we have soldiers in the borders from the enemies. The king can never answer. Hey king, are you there? Ah, he's doing yoga standing, aha. Uh -huh. So when you say to me, get the guidance from a book written, okay, here we go. This is a book written by your God, supposedly, which is not true. 
Is that the guidance? That there's a guy because he's holding a steak, he did not fell down for a year, entered the termite, they ate his steak, you idiot. And guess, I am smarter than Solomon. I am going to buy a steak made from aluminium. You know, in Arabic, in the Middle East, we call them aluminium. And by the way, I saw some comments, somebody saying, a Christian prince, he have difficulty to say pocket. We say book, pocket, book, uh, pocket. People, don't be silly, please. This is so the topic we are talking about. This is what you notice the P with the B in Arabic. We don't have P, so Pakistan is Pakistan. You don't like it, go. I mean, from all the stupid things we showed you in the video, and this is the only thing you notice. Are you serious, Christian Prince? He say, bucket, not pocket pocket and pocket and po he is obviously struggling with p crazy people i mean but somebody told you i'm shakespeare here i mean here to teach you english what's wrong with people somebody told you i'm born in america who speak like american language really so half of my grammar is messed up like muhammad but this is what you notice from all the video. The video is full of lies of Muhammad and he is so concentrating. Look how deep he is. Pocket and that's deep. Don't get married. Don't get married. Like somebody telling you, Hey, there's a volcano explosion happen. We need to run. The other person, he says, did you say explosion? Hold on. It's not explode, like idiot. Who cares about explosion or explosion? The guy is telling you there's a volcano. We need to run. But now it's time for a grammar. That's deep. Oh boy. <clears throat> or a guy, he entered the house and he find his wife cheating with his neighbor. You are cheating with my neighbor? She said, did you say neighbor? <laughs> it's the neighbor, you idiot. So now it's not important that he is cheating. The important is that he did not say the word neighbor correctly. And then the neighbor and his wife, they start laughing. You don't dare to say the word neighbor? I'm like, are you serious? And then all the crowd who come to the house to see what's happening, why is this screaming and happening, they start saying to him, are you serious? You said to her, neighbor, not neighbor. So now the topic is not the cheater and the, you know, cheating inside the house. The topic is uh, the, the grammar. Hmm. I will tell you this funny story. There is a guy he was he sat next to me in a coffee shop and he's a foreigner you know like me i wasn't abroad so the guy he told me like he's a sad supposedly and he told me today i found that my wife is cheating i said oh no i'm sorry to hear that man and drama and he started telling me he went he heard sound in the water in the shower and then he saw her with someone else. I said, well, what you can do? I mean, just divorce her, what you can do? I mean, she's a bad person. It's not your fault. After all this drama, and he then said to me, and this is not the first time. <laughs> I said, okay, now you deserve it for sure. And then after all the drama, repeating and giving me headache, then I found that his wife is a guy. A moment of silence needed. His wife is what? Is a guy. Anyway, Lord have mercy. So, like I said to him, well, do you have kids from her? He said, no. She cannot have kids. I said, wonderful, then divorce her. What are you waiting for? She's a bad person. I said, she cannot have kids anyway. I said, okay, it's good that she did not have kids, you know. He said, oh, he cannot have, she cannot have kids anyway. I said, why she cannot? She have, 
He said, no, it's a, it's, he's a guy. Okay, no comment. Anyway. <laughs> And I was concentrating with him, trying to help him, you know, like they say, okay, you know, take it easy, just go and divorce her, she's a bad person, she's not worth your sadness, you know, she did that to herself, not to you, it's her loss, oh boy. So the truth, let me ask you, who is the one who wrote the Quran? This genius book, who speak about a king, his name is Solomon, he dies standing, brother. I always like to be standing, it's always hero, they die standing, not sitting. What say you? Please explain Genesis 3.16. Mr. PUPU. -P -U -P -U. Uh, open a challenge in the front. Okay, do you like to call me? Mr. Uh, Mr. PUPU. -P -U? I accept the challenge. Is that fair, guys? I accept the challenge. My Skype is open. What? What say you? Do you like to call me? We are waiting. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you. Repeat it three times and you will get the prize to be a bird is a green and he speak languages. I accept the challenge, you wanna call me? <clears throat> huh? Potato. Potato, 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 don't follow this belief, stupid you. Secondly, in the same time, the Bible confirmed that the man is the Lord of his house, which is scientifically right to be. It's a proving that the house have a man is way more successful than a house have none, at least for the kids. Number two, Jesus said that the man he should sacrifice himself the same Jesus, he sacrificed himself to the church. So Jesus, he made the women equal to the church. Which means the man, he is really in charge of the house to sacrifice himself to the wife, not to abuse her. So the silly you who take, a, you know, like a, a, a two words and he cut the rest. So a true Christian man is not a man who abuses his wife, is a man a Lord in Christianity is a servant. This is why Jesus, he said, in order to be a master, you have to be a servant. So the master of the house is a servant of the house. It's not the opposite. My friend, the Christian person who called me, don't call. So I accepted your challenge. What's the problem? Are you there? This is how silly people are. Christianity is not a phrase and then you deny the rest or you hide the rest. This is what Christianity is. And in order to understand God's words, then we have to read God's words, not a sentence. Otherwise, God will speak only one word and he will stop. So the potato you, 
you thought something you have something like okay so what the man he is the lord of the house what do you want why not what the problem and the women she don't need to agree that the man he will be the lord of the house by refusing to marry the man nobody is forcing the women to be in such a in such a, an agreement because remember marriage is an agreement between two so when you agree to to marry according to the bible then you agree and you yourself your sign says i agree otherwise don't marry marry an atheist don't don't marry at all people are silly Osman destroyed me. All the Muslims destroy me. Actually, the number one product I buy from Go from from Amazon, it is a glue. <laughs> this is why he don't dare to let me call him. You see how much they are destroying me. All right. So, do we have any Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. All Muslims they destroy. Muslims they destroy everybody. But the second we speak to them, two second, bingo, they have a flat tire. Any Abdul? And now, and hold on, hold on. There is a comment made by the, the potato uh, Nader Ahmed. Nader Ahmed, he said, uh, what? I forgot what he said. I need to find it. Nader Ahmed, he, you know, the, the, you remember the guy who said, uh, you know, he challenged Christian Prince, he kept saying, I challenged Christian Prince, Christian Prince ran away from me. And okay, uh, to be honest with you, everybody ran from you, you're an idiot. You know, you're stupid. I mean, talking stupid is, is, a, is a hassle. So I said, okay, uh, Nader Ahmed, call me. You remember it, right? Not long time ago. He called me, not even 15 minutes, he said, I have to go. He's in the corner. He's in the corner, and he is the one who chose the topic. He is the one who chose the verses. He is the one who chose what we will talk about. I did not even ask him any question. It's in him who come with the word for the question. And the second we get him busted, uh, Christian Prince, I have to go. Where are you going? I have, I, have, I, have to, I have to go. Is alcohol is bad or good? <laughs> Christian Prince, according to the scientific study, that alcohol is the reason for many, uh, uh, you know, uh, miscarriage. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, 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 Nader Ahmed, is alcohol good or bad? Uh, the Christian Prince, you don't understand. The, you know, the <laughs> Abdul, why, why you make it so difficult? I, I'm just a question. <laughs> is it good or bad? <laughs> They are too much intimidated because whatever I say is going to lead to a disaster. So this is what they learn about me. Never give him an answer. Thinking by doing that, they can escape what is coming. You cannot. Keep trying. Not with me. You can't play those games with, you know, average Christians who do not know how stupid Islam is. Any Abdul? Uh, let us see here. <clears> hmm. <throat> Well, until now, I don't see any uh, text from any Muslim. In Skype. I'm checking again. <clears throat> uh, we have a, a person, his name is Faraj. He says, does a Christian potato accept calls for sure you accept calls. let's see who is the potato now
<sighs> Do we have any brave Muslim? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Muslim he can present to us Islam in a good way? I'm not going to ask you a question. This is how nice I am. You call me and you choose the way you want to prove Islam to be us from to be from God. You said Allah come down. What is the problem with this? Okay, we have Mr. Hassan is asking what is the problem? Hello. Yes, Mr. Hassan, how are you, my friend? I am good, thanks. Thank you for texting me. I appreciate your text. Uh, okay. you, you said, can you, can you, uh, you know, so people they can hear you, as you know, we are live on air. And yeah. as long as you are listening to me, you what you said to me in the chat, in the text? I said, so what if Allah comes down? So what if Allah comes down? Okay. Yeah, you said he comes down okay, in Allah. the hadith. All right. Allah come down from where to where? From the heaven, from okay. the highest heaven okay. to he comes down. To where? To the lowest of to, to the lowest to heaven. Low, lowest heaven. So when Allah he come down to the lowest heaven, so he is now in the lowest heaven? Yeah. Okay. But so why Muslim they say God cannot be inside his creation? Who said that? All the Muslims, because they say to you, well, Jesus is the in the flesh, that is a creation of a man, and then God is inside the, the, the creation? That's not right. They refuse to accept Jesus to be inside the creation as God, God inside the flesh, and yet you Muslims, you believe that God can go inside as a creation. So why the hypocrisy? What do you think? I'm not talking about you now. I'm talking about those hypocrites who they say God cannot be inside as a creation. So what do they refer to when they say that he cannot go into his own creation? They just say that. They say, you know, Jesus, uh, God cannot be inside his creation. And they talk about Jesus. And then we discover that the God of Islam is inside his creation. And I say, this is a hypocrisy. Don't you agree with me? Because I mean, he can move He can move around if he wants to. No, no, he's not moving around now. He is moving inside his creation. Do I agree? But what's the... Why would they say that? Um, I don't know you. Don't ask me, my friend. This, what, this is what you Muslims they do. It's not me. And you ask him. But me, you're me. the, you're the one that said that they said that they can't do that. That Allah can't do that. But yeah. you can do that. Yeah. Or because they say that it's not suitable for God, and Allah is all. Is Allah is big? They say Allah is so big. I don't know how big he is, but they say he's so big. But obviously he's not because he must be smaller than the space he is occupying. Correct. But but if God can do anything, then. It okay. doesn't matter if we'll, he comes we'll, down. We will go if Allah can do anything or not. Let us let me ask you. Okay. Uh, do Allah occupy a space? What do you mean? When you agreed with me that Allah he go to the lowest heaven. Yep. Okay. And he is now in the in. We can use the word in, do you agree? In the what? In the low in the lowest heaven. In. We can use the word in, right? In the lowest heaven. Yeah. In. Yeah. Okay. okay. So he's in. So when we say in, is the opposite from out. In, he's inside the box. Let us say. Let us say okay. One second. One second. Is huh? this hadith um, authentic? Well, you agree with it, but you don't know if it's authentic yet or not. No, because you're showing me a different one. No, I'm not showing a different one. All of them are the same. But your prophet, he keep talking. Okay, your prophet is talking machine. He never stop talking. Even if he puts a king in his mouth. So. You know, so our Lord, the blessed, the exalted, descended every night to the lowest heaven. Okay, okay? so this is Sahih yeah. Muslim. I don't know which one you are referring to, but all of the okay, same. That's good. Okay, yeah, that's good. This is Sahih Muslim. Okay, so now is Allah is in? You agreed, right? In, He is in. Yeah. Okay, so as long as He is in, He is inside a space. Can Can I read the hadith? That sure, sure. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it on the screen? Yeah, it's in the screen. Okay. Our Lord, the Blessed and the Exalted, descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the latter part of the night is left and says, Who supplicates me so that I may answer him? Who asks me so that I may give to him? Who may ask who asks me forgiveness so that I may forgive him? So he descends every night to the lowest heaven. Okay. Okay. But now What's the, the question problem. 
Let us go to my question. You keep repeating the same, my, my, my friend. Okay, go on. I, I, you told me this already. You told me even before you called me. What, what's the problem? Correct? We got this one. The All problem right. is that now yeah. Allah is occupying a space. In order to occupy a space, in order to move from point A to point B, yeah. you have to be a physical being. And... But we don't know what he looks like. This, this is another question. I did I ask you? Did I, did I say how he looked like? No. Right? So, yeah. but do we agree he's a physical being? Yeah, if he's moving. Okay. But, but he can but be it, he but, can be in different places at the same time. No, he cannot. Because he's God. He can do anything. No, no, you see? So his, Hold on. his body, no, just, just if to, he has a body. No, just to prove that this is false. You know, I want you to think with me. I, I, I don't okay, want to think with you. I want to... I don't want to think for you. I want, I want you to think with me. You, right. Me and you, we agreed. Let me draw in this screen so we can understand. You okay. said you said that Allah, he come down every night in the third part of the night. We agreed yep. upon this, right? Yeah. So in the third part of the night, where is Allah located? Uh, the lowest heaven. Okay. I will draw lines. This is number seven. This is number six. This is number five. This is four. This is three, and this yeah. is two, and this is one. We will make it extended because Allah will be here. So now Allah is in the heaven number one, right? Wait, it's delayed. It's very delayed. No problem. <clears throat> okay, I see the lines. All right. So now Allah is in the heaven number one, but is Allah yep. now in the heaven number seven? No. Okay. So that destroy what you just said. You said Allah can be everywhere. He cannot because if he can everywhere, he does not even need to go anywhere. He just he, he's everywhere already. So I mean, like he's if he can see everything, no, then Allah, he can still be no, in see, that place. The hadith in front of us prove that Allah cannot see and Allah cannot hear from everywhere. Allah have a short vision and short hearing because read carefully. The hadith okay. saying here, why Allah, what is the purpose of Allah coming down every night? <clears throat> um, that's true. That's a good question. Okay. He come down so he can hear you, right? Otherwise, maybe to <clears throat> maybe to make the Muslims feel closer. So make well, us feel anyway. closer. I mean, how, how closer you are. I mean, you are. Still, <laughs> come on. Does, does it really make a difference for me if he's in seven heaven or lowest heaven? Still, he's so far. I can't see him, right? That would make a difference if he's just, you know, he come to the whole street and he's just there or he come in the bushes like what happened to Moses, right? But this is not what happened. He's too far. We don't see him. You know, the lowest heaven is where the stars are, correct? The lowest heaven, according to the Quran, is the location of the stars. It's not even in the atmosphere. Where does it say that? Oh, okay. <clears throat> let, us, let us go and see. You can go and read. Some people say the lowest heaven is the sky. No. Not the stars. It's a sky, yeah. But the word sky in Islam is used in the Quran. But the Quran okay. des decide that the lowest heaven is where the, uh, the stars located. Let us go to the Quran. <clears throat> Chapter 41. Okay, one second. Verse. Let me open my Quran. No problem. Take your time. I can send you a link if you want to help you. No, it's okay. Chapter 41, verse number 12. It says, He completed them as seven firmament. Excuse my English. You know, English my English is funny, like Zach and I, You know <laughs> what I it's can right. do. So, seven fir, firm, 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 firmament, something like that, you know, in two days, and then he assigned to each heaven it is duty and command. And then we adorned the lower heaven with lights. The word in Arabic is masabih. Masabih is the stars. Do you see it? Wait, can you sh tell me the chapter and the verse again? Chapter 41, verse number 12. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I can see it. Hmm. So now we agree, me and you, based in the Quran, based on Christian print thinking, that the lowest heaven is where the lights, the stars are, right? Yeah, the lamps. Right, lamps. Yeah. Exactly. So now we go back to the hadith. 
So okay. Allah, he is not really getting close in any way. I mean, still he is too far. I mean, this is where the, the, the stars are located. So that is really too far. So we go back here. This hadith. Yeah, that's true. All right. Because they're millions of miles away. Exactly. And this is very funny. I mean, you just said the word millions of miles away, but your prophet, he went in the top of a donkey, you know, like, and he went all the stars. He passed the stars to heaven number two, heaven number three, heaven number four, heaven number five, heaven number six, and number seven. And then all but of that's, this. Um, that's a miracle, though. Uh, it's a miracle because you're using a donkey, my friend. This is the miracle, my guy. You see, how it wasn't a donkey. It was a, I forgot the name. It is a donkey. It's called Al Burak. It's a, it's a, it's yeah, that's a beast. That's a beast. It's a beast. Okay, well, uh, he, he, he eats grass. So, how is a beast? You know, he's a donkey. He's, a, he's from the horse family. He's a donkey between the donkey. And let me show you how your prophet he described him. All right. He described yeah, but him. He could, he could describe him as an earthly animal, but it could still yeah, be. He's an, so, he's an animal. You know, he can, he can describe him as an animal, but he's an animal. He's an animal. That's why he ride him. He, he was an angel? No. He wasn't anyone. But Allah, Allah can do anything, so he ah, can make Allah it. Allah can do anything, right? yeah. But no, Allah, he says, that the angels or his affair, he deal with it in a day of our time equal to 1,000 years, a uh, uh, day of his time equal to 1,000 years of our time, right? So even the angels, even Jibreel, cannot pass that speed, which is 1,000 years in our time for one time to go down. What are you reading? The Quran. I can't see on the screen. The Quran. Oh, you're not reading Hadith. No, I, I prefer to use the Quran, you know, because the Quran is the, the you know, the highest, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Let us okay. see. Let us show you the Quran. <clears throat> I still don't get what the problem is. The problem is, uh, yeah, we are mixing things together now, but it's okay. Uh, when your God Allah he come down to the third part of the night to yeah. a location he is occupying a space and he is a physical being who is inside the space always do you agree with that yeah okay as long Allah is inside a space always that's mean the space have to be exist before his existence Otherwise, where Allah will put Himself? But then that's like that's the same thing as um, replacing Allah with Jesus. No, you see, Jesus, His existence had nothing to do with His birth. Jesus says before Abraham, "I am," which means He's not born as a man yet, but He exists as God. But so, did He create space? He creates space, but he do not need a space to be inside a space. Your God now, you see. So what is he inside? So what is he inside? He's not inside he's anything. Not... Well. Our God is a spirit. Spirit do not need That's... to be in a spirit. That, you see, this is why the spirit is. A, that, that, if, if I ask you what the spirit is, do you know what spirit is? Um, no, not really. Well, I'm not surprised because even your prophet, they ask him the same question. And he asked his God and his God, Allah told him, Allah knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he say that? Chapter 17, verse number 85. They ask you concerning the spirit. Muslim debit between bracket and inspiration, which is false, because in Arabic it says Aruh. Aruh means spirit. Say to them, Allah knows best. <laughs> so even the God of Islam do not know what the spirit is. Have you yeah, ever, but in, have you in Islam, heard? we don't know the questions to every everything. And this no, question friend, doesn't really okay, make a big but difference. When, but, but when your God, he says, I do not, I mean, okay, he, he claimed that only Allah knows, but they are asking you. They are asking him to ask Allah, and now Allah is answering, say, say to them, it's a, it's a the command of Allah, Allah, only Allah knows. But what, is the, what is the answer? But why do we need to know this? My friend, they ask him, and now Allah decides to answer. Yeah, but... His, we need, his we answer why was why, why we do not need why we do not need you see yeah when, Allah when, says you don't when, need to know this. no 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 you see this is this is a, because he have no idea what to say you know this, you have, 
you have no idea what to say when you have no idea you know if I am a teacher teaching you mathematics and you ask me a question about mathematics and then I say to you him you do not need to know that to that why is that I'll answer the question it's knowledge is school so if God he sent a book and this is the book of guidance and then we ask for guidance and God says you do not need to know that's just silly especially does it not say that anywhere in the Bible what do, what do you mean? Nowhere it says don't ask God. No, like it does it not say that you don't have the answers to all your questions? You no, know, they never asked Jesus a question. He said, I don't, I don't know. Ask, ask, you know, this, that's not true. So the, the spirit is a very simple thing to answer, from, especially from someone who is God. And I'm not God. I can answer what the spirit is. You know? The spirit is a... But when, the spirit. When, um, when Muhammad says Allah is in space, but when Allah says that, I don't know where you found that. Well, my friend, um, you, you forgot. Uh, do you have a short memory like Zach and I? Because were you referring to the Quran my friend, or the Hadith? No, my friend, doesn't matter. When Muhammad says Allah, he come down every yeah. third part of the night. He is saying Allah is in the heaven, correct? Yeah. And you're asking me where Allah he says that. So are you saying Muhammad is lying about Allah? No, but you, you use the word space. Well, because the heaven is a space. We agree that it's even this is where the stars are. Yeah, but he created it before himself. Doesn't matter. Okay, he created the star. Okay, this is go back, back to zeros. I will slow down with you. Okay. Okay, as long I am in a space and I go between spaces, so which means yeah. we agree that he's a physical being. So in yeah. order for this God to be exist in a location, he have to have a space before he can be there. Correct. But maybe he moves there. Okay, I will go with you. Maybe he moved, guys. He took a U-Hole and he moved. And this is what happened actually here. Allah is moving. Allah is moving from point one to point seven or seven to one, vice versa. Okay. So Allah is moving between the spaces and yeah. he is inside the space. But before this space was created, that means the existence of Allah is impossible. Because Allah has to be in a space in order to be exist. No, but he's God. He doesn't need no, anything no, to no, exist. Hold on. You see, you see, he's God. You see, Muslim, you remember, he's God when you want. You forgot that he's God when you want. He, he wasn't God when he moved from seven. But heaven. God can move. He can move if he wants okay, to. Okay, so, so this has his nature then. Okay, I'm going to help you more. I want you to, okay. focus, to, to focus with me. You're a nice person, by the way. Uh, you know, I like talking to you. Thank you. You see, this is how you know a person is coming from a good parents. And I can tell this person they have a good parents because they taught their son how to speak kindly. And he's a nice person. So say, send my greeting to your family. And to your mom specifically. Thank you. She's a good woman. So listen carefully. Uh, do Allah have a shape? Um, yeah. Okay. When we say shape, what does that mean? It can mean anything. I know you said in a video once that okay. it has to be a square or a circle, but no, shapes no, no, can no. It come in. No, it cannot be. It doesn't have to be. No, I never said it has to be square or no. Shape. He's a unique, unique shape. Doesn't, okay, he's a unique shape. That's wonderful. No, no problem. So Allah have a unique shape, but at the end of the day, it's a shape, correct? But he can change into something that isn't a shape. That's wonderful. That's he doesn't good. always you have are, to be a shape. You are making it even easier for me. You see? Why? Because you just said Allah is a changeable. Yeah, so. Okay. He can do so, whatever he wants. All right. So, can Allah be a man? Yeah, if he wants to. He so, can. why you refuse Jesus to be God and man in the same time? Because I don't know anything much about Christianity. Now, this is another question now. If it's possible for God to be whatever he wants, and he even yeah. he can be a man, and you just said and you agree that he changed his shape. Well, why this God cannot be a man? He can be. I just he told can him be. he can. Okay. So those Muslims who say he they can, he cannot, they are yep. insulting Allah, correct? Because if Allah is God... No, because not all of them agree with this. No, this Because I know some of them say that he can <laughs> and some of them say he can't do okay. that. Okay. But okay, what is the shape of Allah? Uh, I don't know. He's a shame. What do you mean he's a shin? Shin, shin. You know what shin mean? I know what a shin is, but why do you say that he's a shin? I'm not saying that. It's your prophet. 
how the Muslims will recognize Allah from his shin. Read carefully. The Prophet, you know, he's talking about Allah changing his shape. Read carefully okay. here. And then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. And he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. So imagine the Muslim now, they are rejecting Allah himself. Yeah. Just because he changed his shape. And this is what the Muslim do today to Jesus. They don't like the shape of God as a man. They want him to be something different. And then none will speak to him, but the prophets, and then it will be said to them, do you know a sign which you can recognize him, which means Allah? They will say the shin. And yeah. then Allah will uncover his shin. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So when we, saw, we spoke about the shape of Allah, now we are yeah. not really confused anymore about how Allah's shape is. He is a shin. He can choose to have show whatever he wants to show. But no, this is the original shape of Allah. Because Allah... First, How do you know? Well, the hadith says that because Allah, he changed his shape. He come to them, they said to him, you are not Allah. Why? Because he changed his shape. And then, in order for the Muslim to recognize him, you know, he come back with the original shape, which is the shin. Okay. So what's the problem? I don't okay. Understand. So the original Allah is a shin. The changeable Allah is something else. We do not know. The hadith doesn't say how he come to them. What look look like it? You know. But it doesn't say he's a shin. It says he will un uncover his shin. Exactly. So he's... Well, like, well, when I uncover my shin, that means I am. You know, this is what I uncover. Did he uncover his face? He has a face. Okay. So maybe the shin is his face. No. Well, how you know? You said he's unique. Because it's referring to his shin specifically. Okay, but how he is unique and he have a shin? Isn't it shin is something popular and everybody have it? But he can get rid of it if he wants to. Ah, uh, how he can? He will, he, he will cut it off. <laughs> you are being funny now. He will. He what he would do? He will cut it off. He will do a surgery. He will go to Thailand and make a plastic surgery. Okay, but even if he has a shin, what's the problem? With this? You see, we don't want to jump like what's the problem? What's the problem? So now we, I'm trying to lead you slowly to where who where Allah and who is Allah. So now okay. we discover that Allah is in the lowest heaven. And now we discover that Allah, the true origin of Allah as a shape, is a shape, and we agree upon that. He is a shin. So now the shin of Allah is in the lowest heaven. And now Allah shin is which is Allah is asking you what you want to say to me. Correct? Yep. Okay. This shin, which is the way to recognize Allah, and this shin, which is obviously a physical body. And if I ask you what is made from, you will say, I don't know, correct? Yeah, but his shin doesn't have to be like the human shin. It exactly. can be a different I don't like Allah to have a human shin, my friend. I, I, I hate it. You know, if it's a, I, you know, there is a, there's a kind of shin I like, like a shin of a woman. You know, if Allah have a shin of a woman, that would be nice. But who cares, my friend? Don't be silly. You know, focus with me. I'm not insulting you, by the way. But okay. we need to be smart. As long as Allah is recognized by His shin, that's yeah. mean is a, is a, is it is it a, it is a shin because a human being cannot recognize it unless it is shin. You know what I mean? Because how they would recognize him from his shin? So if it is not like any shin, okay, we got that. But have to be a shin at the end of the day. You see, why Allah did not call it an arm? Why Allah called it shin? I don't know. Uh, because it's a shin. As simple as that. If I say a finger, okay, obviously it's a finger. You see, human being, he have a dictionary of images. All the words we have in our head, it is images. As an example, if I say to you a cup, a cup, in your brain, yep. you don't have a cup, you have an image, correct? Okay, yeah. So even if your eyes are closed, now you can see an image of a cup, or you can imagine it. Why? Because already, imagine. Yeah, yeah. You already you have an, a stored image in your memory, like a computer. So when Allah He said to you, Ashin, He's given you an yeah. image, correct? Okay. And that image is similar to an image you have in your brain. So the shin of okay. Allah, 
it's just a shin. Doesn't matter how it looked like. It's a shin. It's an image stored in my brain, and this is how I will recognize Allah when I see anything look like a shin. Eh, it's Allah. So that God, He is a shin. He is a physical being. He changes shape, and you agree with that. And you said Allah yeah. is a, a shape. His shape change. And you, you actually maybe because you watch my previous videos, right? This is why yeah. you are you know you are getting closer. And you do not need to explain to you. So no, but why? Why does it matter? It matters. I will show he, you what I will show you. Why he has a shin? Okay. okay. Allah, Allah, He is the Creator of the universe. Correct. Yep. Okay. Where was Allah before the universe was created? If He is a physical being, you see, the God of the Christian, He's a spirit. He do not need a physical space. Well, Allah could be a spirit as well. No. In Islam, uh, Allah is not a spirit. You can search it right now in Google. But it, he can because no, in no, the Quran. No, 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 my friend. You see, I will never say something to you unless I'm very sure. Do you agree with but me? But you proved it. You proved it to me. Prove it to you what? When you gave you gave me chapter 17, verse 85, yeah. it says they will question thee concerning the spirit. So the spirit is Allah. Well, so he the, is no, spirit. the Muslim con they consider the spirit is the creation of Allah or he's talking about the Holy Spirit, which is Jibreel. None of them have to do with Allah. The spirit is in. Um, they're talking about Allah here. No, the spirit. No, my friend. The then spirit. why did you use? Why did you use that to say that um, you ask, Muhammad you, doesn't know? No, you see. What Allah is. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. Every single Muslim, he will say to you, there is a spirit and there is the spirit or the Holy Spirit. Muslims, in their false belief, fiction belief, they believe that the Holy Spirit is Jibril. Correct. Oh, this um, verse is talking about the angel. No, no. You see, you just said yourself. Okay, okay. I will go with you. Because the, you said the word, you said the it word, was talking about angel. No, no. The word is the spirit. The spirit does not say angel, right? But the Muslim they claim that when Allah say the spirit, He speak about the angels. This is not me. This is not my definition. So Islam is a religion based on believing that the spirit which is in the command of Allah, that is the angel of Allah, specifically the angel Jibreel, which is, according to Muslims, the Holy Spirit. Are we getting the point? So, when, yeah. I, when I discuss Islam with you, I don't discuss what you think, I discuss Islam. Islam is this. Islam, believe that this spirit is Jibreel. But why does he have to be a spirit to not to exist before, to oh, not exist So now before. we go back to Allah. So, no. As long as the Muslims agree that Allah is not a spirit and it's not even one of His attribute, you can go right now to Google search. But even even if they disagree, why do you have to be a spirit? Um, I'm just not saying, to exist no, no, before. No, I'm not saying he has creation. to be. No, no, I'm not saying he have to be. I'm saying now because he is a physical being, yeah. and this physical being is moving between point A and point B. So this physical being, he need always a space to be exist somewhere. Otherwise, he would be out of his space, and that's impossible. You cannot create, let us say, a TV. No, but he doesn't. He doesn't because he's God. He can do anything. No, he cannot. Uh, this is the proof in the front of you. You see, if but he... you're you're doing the same thing that you tell others that you say they cannot. No, that no, God no, cannot no, no, do no, this. no, no. You see, I am not saying he cannot do because I am saying he said that. Read carefully. How Allah he listen to you? How Allah he hear you? He come down every third part of the night so he can listen to you. So if Allah obviously he can hear you from far distance and he can do everything, then Allah do not need to come down every third part of the night. That is a horrible duty for God. And but you know, he's doing it out of love and stuff. Okay, like uh, do you need to come down out of love? You, you know, he's coming Well, not to, love, but just to make you closer to My God. friend, no, no way it says what you are saying. This is You are making now your own fiction story. He comes uh, down, he says, who is praying for me? So either he is coming down literally, and all the Muslims agree that this is literally, not metaphorically. Mm. Even Muhammad, he mentioned the time of the night when he come. And he says literally in Arabic, Yenizilu Rabbuna. Allah, he descend down. So yeah. he did not say the vision of Allah, the hearing of Allah, uh, to make it metaphorical. He says, Allah himself is coming down. So when Allah is coming down, He's coming down inside a space and moving between a space. So now let us go to the point where before Allah created the space which He is in, 
what there was do you know uh, no okay let us go and you know see your prophet because as i said your prophet never stopped talking and that's very helpful i haven't read like all of the hadith and quran verses like you have no like problem. memorized them no problem so i don't i don't really know the answers to everything okay <clears throat> let us go to the hadith and see can you tell me the the number sure I'll, i will show you i will show you everything <clears throat> because it's delayed let me find the hadith uh, okay the first thing allah he created in some hadith he says the pen okay okay yeah this is uh Agreed as Sahih. And it says <clears throat> that the first Allah he created, it was the pen. Is that, is that correct? Uh, I need to see the hadith first. I can give you the link, hold on. Just to make it easier for you. Oh, I see on the screen now. Oh, you see it, okay. Yeah. So the first thing Allah he created, the pen. Okay. Okay. There was no heaven. Okay. Yeah. Where, where was Allah? He was. He knows where he was. I don't know. No, no, no. See, as long we agree that he's a physical being. Yeah. He needs a space, because a physical being is a physical space. But he's God. He can. He doesn't need. It doesn't matter. But he is that. a God who is a physical being. And a physical being, we're talking physics now, we aren't talking about godly things, you know, we are talking physics. In order to be exist as a physical being, you need a physical space. Very simple. You know, when I say to you a shin, and this shin is a physical shin, is not a spiritual, that means that space has to be exist before your existence. Okay, but you know when Jesus was living on this planet, his he had a spirit in, in the skies somewhere. We don't know where. You see, for us as a Christians, we don't uh, we don't uh, uh, really worry about that because we believe that Jesus came as a man and he lived inside the space and his body was a space too. So this is not an so, issue for us. No, that, it's, so it's, Allah that, can do that as no, well. No, Allah he cannot because Allah, your God, he is saying he is unlike anyone. Number one, and this is something he took from the Old Testament, and the unlike anyone he claimed speaking about Jesus, he cannot be like Jesus. How do you know he was talking about Jesus specifically? Okay, here we go. Let us go to the Quran. Because <clears throat> if you can find that, then I have to, then I can see. All right. Okay. Why Allah don't have a son? Uh, I don't know. Because, you don't because have... he doesn't. No, because you don't have a girlfriend. Correct? Okay, but let's let's find this um, this one we were talking about. We are talking about the space now that is in the shape. Hold on. And he's not like Jesus. So all, all the talk Muhammad is speaking about Allah saying to him that Allah is not like Jesus. Okay. Well, how he is not like Jesus? You know? Yeah. Let me, let's see where he said that. Okay. Uh, let us go first then here. Okay. Okay. Read with me carefully here. Can you tell me the chapter and verse, please? We will go one by one because we will have to show you, you know, a, a few of them first in order to reach the conclusion. Why Jesus is not God? Allah, he says, because he is a man and they used to eat food. I never saw this before. Well, chapter 5, verse number 75. He is a man. Five seventy-five. Yeah, him and his mother, because Allah, He think, or the one who wrote the Quran, think that the Christian believe that Mary is the wife of God, which is silly and that's not true. The Trinity is not Mary and Jesus and the Father. The Trinity is God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So the one who wrote the Quran, he have no idea what Christianity is about. So this is chapter seventy, uh, chapter five, verse seventy-five, speaking about. He said he said they both eat food, but he exactly. didn't say that. Um, it's a problem or anything. 
No, he's saying he's saying that he is a messenger and he eat food. Why? Because he have body. Correct? He have body. Okay. Okay. So can your God eat food? If he wants to. But he said here that Jesus eat food. So if God can eat food, and if it's possible for God to eat food, then it's possible for Allah to eat food, as you said. Then this but is But he's a, he's a messenger. No, no, hold on. No. You see, he is refuting people who believe that Jesus is God, correct? But he didn't because he just he no, no, simply no, no. said no, 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 he no, 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 no. He is saying okay. that the, uh, the 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 Christian they say if you go to verse number seventy three, it okay, says I'm that those that. who believe in the Trinity, they are kuffar. Okay, what is the Trinity according to him? Because he's ignorant, he thinks Trinity is the the Father, the Son, and Mary. So here, this is a refutation. Why Jesus cannot be God? Because he eat food. Are we following? Wait, let me read. Let me read seventy four now. One okay. Second. Okay, yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay, yeah. so now he is trying to refute them that Jesus is not God. Why? Because he eat food. But you agreed with yeah. me, Hassan, that God can eat food. If he wants to, he can. Exactly. So how come Jesus cannot? <laughs> you see, if, the, if this is a refutation and you agree with me that God, if he wants, he can. This is, this is but a, he, still, he still didn't say that. No, I no, can't no, 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 he said that. He is refuting them why he is not God. Because the God of Islam, he thinks that Mary is God in Christianity and Jesus is God in Christianity. So in order to prove to them that God is not Jesus and God is not Mary. Is that Mary, what the scholars say as well? Yeah, exactly. No, did the scholars say this? Yes. Because he yes. simply said they both eat food. Yeah, That's because it. because he's trying to prove that they are not God. Okay, this is why I showed you verse number 73, my friend. Have you got like tafsir for this? Sure. Where he's yeah. disproving. Sure, no he's problem. Okay. Uh, uh, chapter 5, verse number 75. Let's go there. Do you want, do you like Ibn Kathir? Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What about Ibn Abbas? Hey, hold on. Can you we, we will show you Ibn Abbas. Which one? Which one you want, Ibn Abbas? Whatever you want, yeah. I will show you. Okay, Ibn because Abbas. he was the cousin of the Prophet. Oh, okay. Well, give me a second to open Ibn Abbas. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, we go to Ibn Abbas. I will open the screen. And this is Ibn Abbas. All right, here we go. Okay. And let us see. The Messiah, the son of Mary, was no other than a messenger. Actually, the verse itself explains itself. It says he is not more than a messenger, which means he's not God. Said to the people, messenger, like the like of whom had passed before him, and his mother was a saintly woman, and both uh, they eat earthly food, and they were both yeah. servant, and they eat food. So, O oh Muhammad, how we make the revelation, the sign of Jesus and his mother, we are not gods. Do you see it? Let me zoom okay. in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, you said, and I respect that from you, yeah. that God, if he wants, he can eat food. What's the problem? Okay, now it says that um, this is proof that he's not God. But I didn't see that. But you said to me, God, he can eat food. What's the problem? If he wants to, he can. Yeah, but so, but, 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 but now, now I can't say that because I found out. Ah, see, Hassan, <laughs> see. Aha, uh -huh, so now we change in a second. Our, you know, come on, I, I said you are a decent man. Come I on. made a mistake. I no, a mistake. no, no. See, Hassan, guys, Hassan, he made a mistake. <laughs> 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 still I like you Hassan, still I like you. See, Hassan, it's okay. Don't be ashamed of the stupidity of Allah. You see, <laughs> you are just admitting that your God is stupid and your logic was smarter than his logic because obviously God, he can do whatever he wants. So what the big deal if he eat food or not? You know, if he's God, he's God.
God. I mean, we call him God because he's almighty and almighty, he do whatever he wish. So suddenly, if, if this almighty, he eat a sandwich, he is not God. He lost his godly. That's it. You're not God. You eat sandwich. <laughs> I saw Jesus eat a shower, my brother. Did you see Jesus eat a shower, man, his mother? I saw them with my eyes. And then not only that, he said to him, I can you add more falafel? So your logic, five, two minutes ago, was against this. <laughs> Just this then, this then, 60, 60 seconds ago. And now, Hassan, you changed your logic. That's not right, my oh, friend. Oh, but it was a mistake. It was a mistake. No, it it's mistake. not a mistake. It was a logical thing you thought about. But now, because... Because if God can do anything, then obviously I thought he can... Ah, you thought, you thought, I like it now. So now we agree that your God, who you thought he can do everything, he cannot. But he still can, but he doesn't, no, no, he chooses not to. No, 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 because if he can, that means this argument is false. Okay. It, it, I need to look into that a bit more. No, we are looking right now, take your time. Okay. <laughs> don't do the same as the Abdul who told me give me a year to look at it I, I never heard this before come on you're smarter <laughs> so Hassan listen to me so if he is God God he can do whatever he wants okay that's wonderful okay how come suddenly God he is disabled you just disable your God it's you who disable I don't know. him I don't know why he chooses not to no, but no, no. he chooses it's to do what he wants to It's not about choosing not to. You see, he's not choosing now. He is saying, you just agreed that this is the refutation. That means this God, he is saying clearly, that God cannot eat food. He says he does He does not eat food. Not that he cannot. It's the same, because if, if let, let us slow together in the thinking. If Jesus, the Christian, declaim his God, and... Yeah. Jesus ate food, and then Allah said to them, "Do you see? He ate food, so he's not God." That's no, mean. the point. The point they're making is that Allah doesn't need to eat food, but Jesus who did said, need to. Who eat said food. that Jesus he need to eat food? Who said that? Where it says that? And, Je Jesus. Then why did he? Why did he eat food then? Hold on, Jesus in the Bible he he fasted for forty days. No, stop. Yeah, but he you eat in the morning. Okay. No, 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 no. He don't eat. No, this is not Ramadan. We don't have Ramadan. Fasting, he fasts totally from food, totally. 40 days, he eat nothing. So, 40 days without food. Who can do that? There's no human can stay for 40 days without food. So, Jesus, where's, where's the proof? Where's the proof of that? It's in the Bible. You know, just to go right now to Prophet Google, peace upon him, and says Jesus, he fasts for 40 days. So No, no, I believe, I believe you. I believe you. Okay. So, when Jesus fasts for 40 days, and he okay. eat no, f f no food, uh, he proved that he is he have the power which no man has because I cannot why, stay. Why did he do that? Why did he fast for forty days? Jesus always everything he do is to, in order to teach us, you know, to teach us that how he can be because you know, oh, okay, I will say okay to Jesus, you are not sinner because you are God, and you are asking yeah. me to be like you. I mean, this is not fair. So now God is coming to us as a man, yet yeah. he still can be out of sin. So Jesus, he said to us. I can be the man under all the physical aspect of a man, yet still I can fight sin and I can be victorious. So when okay. Jesus fasts for 40 days, this is not Ramadan, he's eat all night and then he stop drinking and eating in the morning, which is silly. You know, this is not fasting, this is eating more. So he was fasting totally and he broke the rules of a human being physically. He can do it. Same time, okay. Jesus, he said to them, to the Jews, you can destroy this temple, which means his body. You can kill it. Then why why did he continue to eat afterwards? If he can just not eat you see, at all? Uh, uh, the, the, the question is very simple. Jesus came as a man, so he's living between men, between a, between, between a human. He said to them, even he brought bread, and he said, everything Jesus, he do for a reason. So when Jesus, he said, and he broke bread, and he says, this is my body, is broken for you. So obviously Jesus there is not to eat at dinner. Jesus there is to tell them and to teach them something. So even when Jesus is eating the bread, it was for the purpose of teaching, not for the purpose of food. Okay. When Jesus, he blessed the, 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 I don't know if you know the story, even if there's a verse in the chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah. Mm, I don't remember the names. This is the chapter. same chapter we already hear about. Al-Ma'idah, Al-Ma'idah chapter 5, 
It's called al maida yeah. which means the table. You know what the table is? No. The table of Jesus. When the disciple, according to Quran, according to Muslims, they asked Jesus, can you feed us? Can you send, can you make food come from the sky? Okay. Is that really a, 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 like a request you do to someone who is a prophet? If this is we can do for every prophet, then we should ask Muhammad the same request and Muhammad should do the same thing. Correct? But the Bible was one of the, the good books. It's an amazing that came book. came before the Quran. Exactly. But this is not the topic now. We are not talking about the Bible, my friend. We are talking about Jesus. But you said that it came, the table, whatever, came from. No, no, no. no. Okay. I'm saying to you. Bible. If why Muhammad cannot bring a table from heaven to feed thousands of people? The Quran mentioned the story. Okay. Jesus, Jesus, he eat food, right? Yeah. Okay. And the Quran says that the Quran, the same chapter, with well, Jesus, he eat food. But how come the Quran forgot? That the one who eat food, he can he can order food to be blessed, and feed thousands of people from a few fish. According to Islam, Allah He sent him seven wheel in sandwiches, which is funny. Seven wheels. Okay. Yeah. So you see here with with Jesus, every rule of nature is broken. Jesus can stay without food for forty days. Jesus have no father, correct? Do I thought he does. Who is his father? According to the Bible. No, the father he was talking about. Oh, the father as a human. I mean, without, he have a father. He have a mother. Do oh, he have okay. a father? No, he don't. So Jesus have no father by the flesh. He should have a father, right? And that is breaking the rules of nature of a human being. Correct? Yeah. Every human being, the Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِيرًا. So when the Quran mentioned that we made it. That we made the human being nasabasar. Even in the interpretation, they say that a human being can have sex with his own daughter because if she is a daughter out of marriage, she is not considered as a daughter. But the important for us, the Quran confirm that every human being after Adam is born yeah. by sex. Can and we go back to what we were talking about? We, we are. We are. We would not leave. It no, you he. know when you are talking about the food thing. No, no, we will go. We are still here with the nature of Jesus. It is he who created the man from water. Then he established relationship of lineage by sex. Hmm? By marriage. What is the lineage of Jesus? Broken. His mom. No, no, broken. Because it says Sahar. Sahar is a man and a woman. Wasn't Mary his mother? Exactly, but there's no sex. That yeah, it, that's according to the Bible. Though. No, 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 according to your Quran. I'm showing you Quran now. I'm not showing you the Bible. The Quran says Mary, she have no husband. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So, the rule of Jesus, all of it is broken. So, how come the eating food is the problem? There's no father. There's no husband. There, he is not created from mud, as Adam. The Quran says the same similarity of Adam is the same as uh, 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 Jesus. He said to him, "Be," and he was because even Adam, Allah did not create him by saying "Be." Allah created mud, and then He fashioned the mud, and then He breathed into the mud, and then after what's the, that, what's the problem with this? The problem, see, I'm showing you now that the logic yeah. of the verses we're speaking about Jesus eating food is broken. Is a silly argument because if this is what makes Jesus not God well yeah. there's a million things make him God walking in water resurrect, resurrecting people from death making the blind see making the one who cannot walk walk forgiving sin isn't it the Quran says who is going to forgive sin save Allah no but it's as simple as this um, Allah doesn't eat and Jesus eats, and all Allah was saying okay, is but that you see, he doesn't eat. You see, Allah does not eat, you say it, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what Allah says in the Quran. Jesus, before he became a man, he was not yeah. eating too. Yeah, but he was eating after that. Oh, so he can, he can stay without food. So the argument of he can eat 
is proving again that he is almighty because there is no limit of almighty and remember you are the one who keeps saying uh, god can no, do anything you're, god can you're do anything. changing the you're yeah. changing the word can i mean can and don't allah okay. can okay. eat but he doesn't okay eat. okay I, we will use the word can me and you can we okay, okay. and i want you to be now honest with me please i don't want okay. you to change your thought in a second can allah do whatever he want he can, but he chooses not to. Okay, but the question is, if Allah he say, he question if he can, that means he cannot, yeah. correct? Where did he question if he can? This is not the question now. I want to you. I want you to give me the answer. If I say, how can I fly when I don't have a wing? Obviously, yeah. I cannot fly without wings, correct? Okay. Okay, so do we agree now when I say, how can I fly without wings? That means I am saying clearly, I am disabled I cannot, how I can I, you know? So I'm using the logic of how I can, because simply okay, obviously yeah, I cannot, I so understand. we agree, okay. So if we show you now the same, about your Allah saying the same, you can't say, Allah did not say that, so. So let us see what your Allah said. Allah okay. in the Quran, he questioned, how he can have a son, if you don't Can you tell me the chapter, please? Sure, sure, chapter. here we go. So Allah, he says here, how Allah can have a son, and he don't have a girlfriend, now, when Allah he have a, a, a when he have a, a, a he cannot have a son in chapter six verse one o one, and because he don't have a girlfriend, Allah is not saying I can have a son. He's saying I cannot because simply I don't have a girlfriend. Wait, you didn't tell me the chapter. Chapter six. I said chapter six verse yeah. one o one. I'm on that. Okay. Is it the cattle? Chapter 6 is the cattle. It's not saying anything about the son. Read the verse, read the verse. How he can have a son. Verse 101. Oh, 101. Yeah. I thought you said one. Sorry. No, I said 101. <clears throat> How can he have children when he has no wife? Hmm. Because he has no wife. If he has a wife, Thank then you. he can. But you remember what you said to me? You said to what? me, Allah, he can always. And I said but to look, you, I said to you, listen, look, no, no, listen, listen, Hassan. It's okay, a, go on, don't go don't on. do the same what Muslims they do with me. You see, I, go on, go I always on. respect our person when he starts okay, lying. Go on, go on. I respect go you as long as you are honest with me. Uh, you two minutes ago, less than a minute, I ask you. If I say to you, how can I fly and I don't yeah. have wings? Obviously, I'm saying I cannot fly, and the reason I don't have wings, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, I but cannot, if you have wings, you can fly. If I have wings, exactly. So now, Allah, but if you have wings, but if I have wings, but I don't, so I'm, I, I don't, I'm not capable. So when Allah says, can, well, when Allah He says, how can I have a son and I don't have a girlfriend? Yeah, but if he has a girlfriend, then he can have. Exactly. So Allah is not Almighty God. My God, because He do not he need choose... a girl. Hold on, you see, you just got your God busted. My God do not need a girlfriend <laughs> to oh, have I a son. That. Your God, He need a girlfriend to have a son. Oh, I understand what you're saying. So now your Yeah, God... that's a good point. Good point. So your God is not God. Is there a tafsir for this? So I can understand My friend, it's very more. simple. I mean, even this one, tafsir, no problem. Open it, tafsir. No, just in, just in case, just in case. Okay, you want to be Abbas again? <clears throat> yeah, go on. Okay, chapter 6, verse 101. I didn't see this verse before. Well, this is why I'm here, my friend. The Lord, he sent me to serve you today. There must be a reason why he the said Lord, that. He sent me today to serve you with a note, and this note will you will question about it in the judgment day. Watch my words. I'm telling you, the origin of the Creator of the heaven and the earth, He created them. They were nothing before such a creation. How can He have a child when they have for Him He have no concern, no wife? <laughs> this is the Abbas, your favorite. Hmm. And who said that even the God of the Christians, like do the, the Christians believe that God have a wife? I mean, this is silly. Like, you know, as, as if I, I go uh, to somebody who is driving a car run by gas, and then I say to him, uh, 
how you can drive a car and we don't have a grass. I mean, what does have to do with this? Yeah. Because if he's God, he can have a son without having a wife. He can have a son who needs a wife because God is God. And who said the Christian believe God? Actually, if the God of the Christian says to us, I have Jesus because I have sex with the women, then he obviously this story is a lie. We will not follow him. We won't believe him. If God have sex and then he had a wife, you know, I mean, so he cannot have a son without having sex like me and like you. So the God of his time saying clearly, I am the same like you. I am incapable. I am limited. I cannot do this unless I have it. And the funny, Allah he did not even use the word wife. He used the word girlfriend, sahiba. What's the word can in Arabic? Um, kun. In that verse. Kun. No, here. Here you see, yakun. It's coming from yakun. Anna yakun lahu walad. Yakun. Can, yakun, kun. This is about be. Can. can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, in the same time, let me show you something. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Allah, he said, if you want to have a wife, he will take that wife from ourself. How many... How many Allah you have as a Muslim? What do you mean? Can I see the chapter and the verse? Yeah, but I'm asking you how many Allah you have. One. Do he have a family? No. Do he have tribe? No, he has like close things like the angels. Okay. And the prophets. chapter chapter twenty one verse number seventeen, it says, "Had we intended." To take a pastime, the word lahu actually in Arabic means women. Women. Can, is there so, proof that it means women? Because yes, I don't speak. Even your translation saying that. Read it. In my translation here, it says pastime. Okay, what pastime mean? I don't know. It can mean. It says. No. Wife. How do you want you to play games? Games. That's what it says. Who is yeah. this? Who is this stupid translator? The translation, Muhammad Sarwar. That's an idiot. You know. Yeah, this is needed. The word Lahu. Uh, let us go to Ibn Abbas, shall we? Okay, yeah. Okay. Chapter 21, verse number 17. I advise you not to read this uh, Sarwar anymore. I think he is using Google Translation. Allah revealed the following when he said that the angels are, are Allah daughters. If mean we wish to have a wife, you see the word wife? Yeah. Okay. So the translation is false. So Allah is saying, if we want to have a wife, we will take it from us. Us who? The maidens of paradise. But the, okay, you see my friend? But he doesn't say that he's going to... Go no, 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 no. I want you to focus with me, Hassan. Okay. The word us, us, if those are a creation of Allah, they are not us. Yeah, but he says from among. Among us? No, from us, from among. So no, like. no, no, no. From, um, like, you see, this is a translation. You're still reading the stupid translation. Reading okay. from uh, from us. We, we yeah. taking it from us. So in order to Allah to use the word us, that means there's many Allah. If he's one, then there's no us. And now the Muslim, they cannot say to us, he is using the word us like we, majestic, because now he's talking about taking a wife as a partner. Correct? Yeah, but he doesn't need to... No, 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 he need to, he need to. He says, if we want to talk to have a, to have a son, we, have, we have, will take it from the ear. You see, you are not listening, my friend. If I need, if I have, if I'm going to have a son, then yeah. I'm going to choose a wife from us. So but maybe Allah, they, my friend, maybe they had a son or daughter already and he chooses to get it from my friend, them. Like focus, Mary focus, focus, Jesus. focus. Allah is saying, I show you the verse saying, Allah, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend, correct? We saw that already. Okay. 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 And now, Allah is saying, and if I want to have a wife, <laughs> I will have it from us. 
Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So us who? And Allah is going to marry angels? <laughs> is Jibreel a female? Or Allah is a homosexual? Astaghfirullah. But it's tough for Allah. I mean, this is not to me. Allah is saying He will marry you from us. I said to you, who's us? If women who they are paradise and paradise they are us, that means those women are the same as Allah from His kind because you cannot marry a mosquito to a cat. What's wrong with him having a girlfriend? This is not the question. We are okay. questioning the ability of this God and His ability is limited. And he is telling you what kind of girls he like. <laughs> what if that's his pref preference? Exactly. <laughs> and he preferred to marry from us. So if Allah is one of his kind and there's no one like him and there's no other Allah, and he is not from a tribe, he is not from a family, then all of this statement is a joke. Because us who? I don't know. Maybe he. That's the Has, way he likes Hassan, to do it. I just heard you laughing. Uh, did you? Did you leave Islam in your heart already? I don't. It was a bit funny. It's funny. I heard you laughing. So you left Islam already. You just laughed at Allah. No, I might need to do more research. No, no, no. You are out of Islam. You tell me. You see. You tell me. I, I need to do more research. I don't believe you. You are out of Islam already, and you are laughing from your heart. And I heard that you try. You try to hide it inside you. You could not hold it. <laughs> It's because I never saw this before. You never saw it's coming. It's what you are talking to Christian friends, my friend. I will show you what you never saw before. So now me and you, we are laughing at those statement, and you cannot deny that you are laughing because this is a joke. <laughs> this is cannot be God talking. Like you know, I go to my neighbor and says, Hello, if I want to have a son, okay, I will have a wife from us, not from you. Like hello. And like the guy who will say to me, What's wrong with my daughter? He don't like my daughter. Who cares now? We are talking about God. This is God logic. I feel bad for laughing. You feel bad for laughing? I feel good for you are Why? laughing at Islam. Because my friend, I'm here trying to save your soul from this deception. Do you notice with me how stupid this religion is and you, you, you are doing your best trying to jump from place to place to place? Sorry Allah, about that. Allah needs a space to be in. Allah, he cannot be inside a man. You said he can. The second we show you why he cannot, you regret. So your logic is totally against what Islam teach because you are trying to be a smart person using your common sense. But in Islam, yeah. there's no common sense. Islam is a I tried, stupid. I tried to, but obviously yeah. it failed. You failed, thank you very much. So <laughs> you failed and this is my success. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord for that. The Lord today, he made you call me so we can share together something glorifying his name and something will make you leave this God. So why you don't say, Hassan, I'm out of this religion? You just laugh at it. I don't know. Just say it's it. going to be it's hard to do. You just already agree. I mean, you are just saying now to me, I don't know if I can say it now. I'm afraid. It's hard. Yeah, but, but I might need to do more research. No, you did already. You did already, my friend. Am I lying because to you? Because this is this yes, is please. only one thing. Hassan, no, you didn't. Lie. Hassan, did I lie to you? No. Everything no. I showed you is from your books, correct? But it's only one thing out of loads of. My friend, no, no, no. Hold on. You see, you are a. Pro you know, did you did you see the uh, the previous uh, video about pocket? The pocket. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, there is a video of Sheikh uh, 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 Mink. Uh, it's it's about leak in the pocket. Mufti. Yeah. yeah, there's leak in the pocket. So yeah. you hear how this is how I, I, I feel you and you know, many Muslims who call me. Yeah. You are like a person. Look at this picture with me. I'm okay, not, it's I'm delayed. Not, I'm not yeah. trying to make fun of you again, Hassan. Just remember that. You know, I consider you as my, I don't know how old are you, but I will say you are my younger brother. And really, I want to help you. Thank you. So, you are a person who is looking at the pocket, and this pocket is leaking from many holes in it. And you are talking to Christian prince who keep putting water. And then you could keep putting your fingers over holes, but you have only 10 fingers. And you are out of fingers, obviously. 
There was only one hole. And yeah, I saw that. What the one? Hole? All of this is a hole. Allah is a physical being, is as a spirit. So how God can? But be? I had, I had no problem with that. It's no, you have a this. problem. No, you have a problem because in the beginning you said no, he's a spirit. So obviously you have imaginary God against what you thought, and now he is not. So this is a problem. Secondly, if God cannot be a spirit, he cannot be God too. Remember. I mean, if he, he cannot be a spirit, he is not a spirit, he, obviously he cannot. So the limitation again, the same as he cannot be a man. And spirit making God, it's more fit for God to be spirit because that will make possible by nature to be everywhere. For he is a spirit. He's not a but how do, you know, how do you know he's a man? You just showed me one shin, that's it. You know, that's I, I'm not saying, I, no, I just said that Allah, he cannot be a man according to the logic of Muslims, right? And this is what the Quran is saying because Allah, he says, Jesus, he eat food, you know? He's a man, and uh, he's uh, you know he's like Adam, like he's a man, uh, but Allah he cannot be like Adam, he cannot be like Jesus, but Jesus can do way more than Allah, and Jesus is capable of doing what Allah cannot do. Allah cannot have yeah. someone like Jesus unless he have a girlfriend. Well, the father of Jesus, he do not need to have a girlfriend in order to have Jesus. So the nature of your God is limited as a lim lim limitation of a man. So everything about him say he's a man. He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. He, he, and he's the one saying that. And imagine he is not even saying, I can't have a son unless I have a spouse. He just used the word sahiba, which is unacceptable from a Why? human being, in the, a, 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 a Muslim or an Arab person in the Middle East, if he say, I have a sahiba, yeah. sahiba in Arabic, it's mean a woman for fun, not, not a wife. This is not respect. Sahiba oh. is not even a girlfriend. See, sahib is a friend, a friend for fun. You sahibuni, so we go together for fun. Where you did know? it say sahiba? I just showed you for for God. No, but I'm reading it now. It's, it doesn't. It says lahu. You were talking about lahu. No, it says sahiba. Read with me carefully. Here we go. Let us go back to the verse. Here we go. One o one, and this is the okay. word in Arabic. Here we go. Let me read it for you. Lahu. Sahiba. Okay. See? And if you don't believe yeah. me, you can copy that word. Exactly, I'm showing the screen. You know, yeah. you do not need to know Arabic. And you can uh, post it, even in your Islamic translation, saying concert. Correct? It says what? Concert. Concert. What concert mean? Uh, like a signif significant other. No, a concert, like a partner, like partner, a partner for fun, not you know, a sexual partner maybe, not a wife. But it doesn't say sexual. Okay, let us go to the dictionary. For me, I don't care. I don't care about translation, by the way, because this is not my, you know. But uh, but the the yeah. Arabic it says sahiba. Doesn't okay. say doesn't say wife. In Arabic, the word wife is zawja. You know. Oh. Yeah. So. Sahiba, how he can have a son if he don't have a sahiba? So the God of Islam obviously is leading me to understand that he cannot do what God can do, for he is limited like me. If you ask me, do you have a children? I would say, how I can have a children when I don't have a wife or even a girlfriend? Because in order to have a children for a human being, he needs yeah. a woman, regardless if she is a wife or not wife, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, when I translate, it says owner. Oh, it's what? It says owner when I translate. Owner? Like the owner of something, yeah. That's fast translation. You can change translator. Here we go. Let us change. This is uh, this is Yosef Ali. I can go yeah. to Hilali and Khan. Let us see Hilali and Khan what he will say. Okay. And as you see, I'm not showing you my own, you know. Here we go. Here the translator is a, as a wife, which is fast translation again. You know, any, any Arab person, he knows that the word sahiba means girlfriend or friend. Then why is there so many Arabic Muslim? If it's because, like the, because of the sword. Who, who dare? Who dare? If I am now, I am an Arab. If I now yeah. live in the Middle East, do you think I can say two words of what I just said to you? Yeah, because there's been Arabic um, people that called you before from the Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and they're what? And they dare to call you. They are they are not unknown if, if people know me. If they are speaking against Islam, nobody they will be killed immediately. 
No, they're speaking for for Islam. Yeah, what I'm saying. The reason they are, because yeah. simply this is how the business is. You go with the wave. So the hypocrite people or the naive or the dummy, they are brainwashed. They grow up. You go in the Middle East. I go to the bathroom to do poo poo, Quran. The Jamia is playing Quran. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You go to have to eat, you hear the Jamia. You open the TV, you hear Quran. You open the radio, you hear Quran. You go to the school, you hear Quran. So I know everybody's praising this Quran, but nobody's speaking negative about it. So a child, he grew up, he think this is amazing. You know, when I was a kid, I thought my street is the widest street in the world because mm. I never left that street. The second I left out that street, I noticed that my street is not really wide. You know what I mean? Yeah. So a Muslim is a person who is put, is, 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 uh, is jailed inside the box, and whatever he turned his face, the prophet is amazing. The prophet was the best. The prophet is etc. Miracle in the Quran. Scientific miracle in the Quran. All of it is a lie. I'm uh, sure there can be other Muslims that can call you, that have more knowledge than me. My friend, this. have you ever seen one call me and he was successful? Be honest. I thought I would be a bit smarter than the person you were talking to recently, but okay, failed. <laughs> hmm. But uh, have you ever seen a Muslim who was able to call me and he was able to prove me wrong? After all, I have tens of thousands of videos and tens I haven't of thousands. watched. I haven't watched all of well, them. I open Not invitation, too much. Open invitation. Go and see. So, my friend Hassan, I want you to 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 tell me. Why you don't yeah. say I am out of Islam? Let me ask you. You know because I, I told you okay, hold on, that hold on. it's only one thing. No, no, hold on. Be before you call me, I was showing yeah. you a verse about a king. His name is Solomon, who died standing yeah. because he was holding a stick. I heard about that, but I don't know anything too okay. much about the history. But, but, of this. No problem. There's no even this one need history, my friend. Come on, Hassan. So okay, okay. If I come to you and I say I have a grandfather. Yeah, he died and he was a king, okay, and he died yeah. and uh, my grandmother she go to, to talk to him, he don't answer. He's holding a stick standing. Next month she came, still he's doing the same. He don't go to the bathroom. He don't go to eat. You know he don't. He, and then nobody noticed that he is dead, brother. Yeah. Are you going to laugh at me for telling you this story, or you will believe it? Be honest with me. I need to read the whole story. Okay, let us read together. Here we go. Chapter okay. 34, verse number 14. Your English is better than mine, so I will let you read it. Okay. Uh, which translation should I read? It doesn't matter. All of them, they are garbage. Okay. Then when we decreed Solomon's death, nothing showed them this his death except a little worm of the earth, which kept gnawing away at his staff. So when he fell down, the jinn saw plainly that if they had known the unseen, they would not have tarried in the humiliating penalty of their task. Hmm. Well, what is this story about? The story that Solomon he died. Yeah. And Allah don't want the genie to know that he is dead. So he made him die when he stand and he was holding his staff. And then, brother. The genie, yeah. they were working to finish the synagogue for Suleiman, and they did not notice the king is dead. Why? Because he was holding the staff. So, Hassan, I want you to be honest with me. Where does it say this? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, go on. Mm. I want you to be honest with me. Yeah. If anyone in the world, he told you this story. Yeah. Do you really believe it? Or you will laugh at it. But he's talking about the jinn, so yeah. No, what jinn? It's not humans. No, human. The Suleiman is a human. It says jinns here. No, no, no. Suleiman, he, he hide it from the jinn, but the jinn and the rest, everybody. It's not only the jinn. What if he was what he was in the middle of the desert? He's a king in his in his house, standing in in the desert. That will make it even more funny. So the guy now in the desert, and he's yeah. he, he dies is standing, and all the storms and all the rain and all etc. And nobody notices he's dead, and the guy is <laughs> because Allah wanted it to be like this. Yeah, okay, see, Allah wanted it to be okay, but hold on. Yeah. So Allah, He wanted to hide his death. Why Allah He don't make him live just a few months more, and that's it. The story is solved. Let us read Ibn Kathir. 
Maybe there's a reason for this. Uh, does it see the reason? A, does it see the reason? Re- read with me. Re- read this. with me, Hassan. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir. Okay. Ibn Kathir talking at me. The death of Suleiman. Allah tells us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn who were subjugated to him to do hard labor. The re- he remind, the reminded leaning so he remain, reminded le- leaning on his stick which yeah. was his staff as ibn abbas here we go this is your favorite ibn abbas again as ibn abbas may allah bless him pleased with him and mujahid and hassan and qutada and others said he stayed like that for long goal you know a long time you know this is long you can imagine how long it is long time nearly a year i mean the guy is dead for a year and nobody noticed that he is dead for a year because he was holding a staff standing i mean a human being after two days his body will decay and his body will fall apart and since when if you die holding a stick you don't fail i mean this is the most silly thing ever his holding a stick is not tied up to a piece of wood placed in the ground or yeah. is crucified so for a year and when the earth creatures which kind of worm ate through his stick he be, it became so weak brother and fell in the ground brother this is a story from god hassan <laughs> but wait what's what's the st- point behind the story there's nothing this stupid thing muhammad he is an idiot <laughs> the Jew, this is a legion from the jews this there's, there's, there's a book it's called the legion of the jews you can go and search it in, in google it's for free yeah. the legion of the jews muhammad he copies stories the jews they tell to their kids he put it in the quran idiot you think this is serious you think this is real wait the the last sentence is the point of the story yeah, what is the last sentence to me? It became clear to jinn and men alike that jinn do not know the unseen as they used to imagine and try to deceive people. Ah, uh, and? So Allah is saying that jinn and men don't see the same way. It's also become clear to jinn and men alike, they are the same. That the jinn do not know the unseen, but this is seen. So if Allah wants to show that he can hide things from them and that is unseen, this is stupid because the unseen is not unseen. They are seeing the guy, he's dead. That's because of their foolishness. I do not need to, this is not unseen. If you place a dead man in front of me and he is not talking, he's not moving for a year, isn't it obvious that he's dead? Yeah, I need to do I need to do research on this because I don't know anything about My friend about Hassan, this. you do not need to do research already. You, are, did, you did the research. This is stupid. No, because I actually don't understand. No, uh, you understand. I don't understand. No, you understand, but you are trying to play dumb now. No, I promise I don't understand. Well, you understand. You are the one who called me says, what the problem? No, because that you was for different. You are the one who different. said to me, Allah can't do anything. That and was for a different topic. Ah, it's the same. It's the same. All that all the road leads us lead us to Rome. So Allah can do no. Allah cannot. Allah can do everything. No, He cannot. Allah says stupid things. No, He cannot say stupid things. He can say stupid things. He's a stupid person. There's no way that yeah. There's, there's no way. There's God. He says such a thing. Let me ask you. Okay. Do, do women have a sperm? No. Who okay. said that? Does the Quran say women have a sperm coming from her ribs? No, not that I know of. Okay. What if I show you that this is what the Quran teach? I just want to let you know that I'm not a, like Sheikh or My scholar. friend, who cares of Sheikh? All of them, they are idiots anyway. I don't want you to be okay. a Sheikh. I never saw okay. a Sheikh, he can answer anything. Okay. Go watch all my debate with the Sheikhs. You will see they are the most stupid one it was in any debate I have. Yeah, I've seen some of them. Okay, so don't tell me a sheikh. A sheikh does not make it better, make it worse. So, All right. here we go. This is the Quran and this is Nikathir. Okay, can you tell me the chapter, please? Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Have you ever heard of a God? He teaches followers that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone of the man. It says uh, gushing fluid. 
Yeah, I got you in fluid. This is ejaculation. How do you know it's It is. It says here. Read it carefully. And even your prophet explained it. You know? Here we go. Meaning, the sexual fluid that comes out, out. You see it? Breast, is that, um, breast okay. in forth from the man and the women. So, are you showing me a tafsir? Yes, this is tafsir of Mikathir. But the same as the Quran. What are you, Quran? Created from water gushing forth. That water is gushing forth, gushing all out. What is that? This is the ejaculation of the man and the women. And then I think Zakir Naik was talking about this. Zakir Naik is an idiot. Zakir Naik, don't tell me. Come on. I, 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 I remember watching. Uh, Hassan, video. Hassan, I have a request for you. Can, can you promise me to do something? If I can do it, then. Okay. Yeah. Do you promise me to send an email to Zach and I? Say he won't read it. He will. He read emails. He read his emails. Tell him, yeah. I want you to debate Christian Prince. Why you don't debate Christian Prince? He made a lot. Why of don't mistakes. you ask him? Huh? Why don't you ask him? I asked him. I made videos of what I would do. I mean, he would not even you know what I would do. Go and kiss his hand to come and debate us. I'm trying to have. No, him. you can send him an email. My friend, tell him. Tell him, I'm a Muslim. I called him and tell him, be honest, whatever happened, tell him whatever happened, he, 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 tell him, be honest, I, he made me laugh at this now. He made me laugh. I don't know what to say to him. Please, can you do something and refute him? What do you think? I'm trying to drag him to, 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 to talk to me, but the coward, yeah. he, 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 he would never do it. So. As you see, those who you call them or by name, Zach and Nick, Potato and Potato, they are coward. They will never, they will lose their career. He will be humiliated in five seconds because he has nothing to say. And 99% of the answers he gave, it's not even Islamic answers. As an example, they ask him about the virgins, the whore. How come only women she will have whore? He said, Brother Tata, find the word whore. In the women of the world, and it's the men of the world. And Bethesda, I have agreed in youth for you that your mother she will have her too. But what the heck? His, his I think you are Zakir Naik undercover. He, you know, his, 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 she is saying to the women, you will have yeah. her too. But her, the Quran says clearly, yet Muthahunna. You see, any stupid idiot who claimed to be, yeah. he claimed to be a sheikh, anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that there is a noon in Arabic, it's called noonun niswa, the N for women. So when you add this N at the end of the letter, and at the end of the word, that make it for female. I thought he speaks Arabic. He don't. Even did that, he don't. Oh. They don't. They are donkeys. So a woman, brother, the third word, hur. It is one word, and then we name the real letter. I don't know, Mr. Black. Hey, Takbir Allah Akbar. Crazy. You know, like not even a single one of those 10,000 listening. He says to him, What you are talking about, you idiot. This is whore, is a female. Even the Quran described the vagina. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are females. Yeah. So, how you, even you, how you name yourself such a person to say he can answer? It's I didn't crazy. know he said that. He said that. Okay, all, all his answers are silly, stupid. My friend, when your audience are dummies, you are genius. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, I, I will give you an example. Like, I was the most handsome kid between my cousins, but all of them, they look scary. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you understand how, you know, how scary I am. So, this is how Zach and Nick is. Everybody thinks he's a smart, but this guy is a joke. He's a, he's, you know, because he's speaking to dummies. And as long as you are supporting Islam, whatever you say, just say anything, support Islam, hey, everybody, hey, Allahu Akbar, takbir, wonderful, brother, you destroy him, brother. I don't know which video you're talking about, because everyone knows search that for the Zakanak whores, speaking about the whore. everyone knows the whores are females. Uh, search for it, Zakanak. I made a video about it, you should find my video, play in his video in it, you know. But all the Muslims know this, they're females. Hey, so, so how come nobody said to Zakanak, it's not true? Because I didn't see this video. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you can search it. Maybe I can find it for you. Okay. So, my friend, what, what, what do you think? Aren't you going to leave Islam? You already left Islam. Wait, well, so, let's finish this um, this one we're talking about. Okay. So, everything in Islam does not make sense. It's silly. It's stupid. You know? Uh, you know, I, I will ask you, as long as we're talking about diversions. Yeah. Okay. If I come to your house and I am promoting a new religion, let us say I am, I am Muhammad, huh? yeah. and then I come to you and say, 
There is one sentence I repeat, I like to repeat. Which is the blessing of your Lord you will both, you will deny. If I keep saying to you this sentence, non-stop, does that make me a great uh, poet man or make me an idiot who have nothing to say? I knock at your door and then I'm yeah. going to make for you um, a book from God. Look at this. This is God talking the same sentence. Have you ever watched your rabbi music? Have you? Which of the blessings of your Lord will you deny? Mm -hmm. What is he talking about? Stupid thing, genie, smoke. He created genie from smoke. There is two seas will meet and they will never meet together. And the Muslim, they make a miracle about it when the fact it's a joke because the God of Islam, he speak here about there's two seas. One is salty and one is a fresh and they will never meet together. They will never meet. He's just, he's just asking why would you deny it? But why he's repeating it? Because it's like um, just the way that he's saying No, it. because this is stupid. I do not need to repeat it 1000 times. I'm God. This is God talking. You know, every two seconds I say, well, what is this? Same time, doesn't make sense. Let us go I with this one. I think that's very subjective. Let us, let us go with this one. When the Quran because you, says, might, you well, might like it, someone else might not no, like But it. in Arabic, my friend, no. In Arabic, when you make a point, if you repeat yeah. the same sentence twice, you're lost. This is how I have a point because you cannot. That means you are you you have a lack of uh, words. You know, you are using okay. the same sentence twice. That's a weakness. So you will see like there is there is al muallaqat in Arabic. It's called al muallaqat. They hang it in the Kaaba before Islam. Seven of them written by seven Christians, and yeah. they don't repeat the same sentence twice. And it's thousands of lines, not two lines or like this here, a chapter of uh, uh, a few lines. So thousands of lines and they never repeat. And it's a real point, not the rap stupid. Like I saw a rat and she was so fat and I gave her, she stole my hat. And this is this is stupid. There's no meaning. And this is exactly, but let, let, let me show you here. When the God of the Quran, I don't know if you heard uh, the Muslim, they make a video about miracle in the Quran, that there is yeah. two water and those two water, they don't mix the fresh water and the salty water. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a true? I've seen it. Okay, but it's is, true. It, is it true? I saw the I saw the videos. Okay, yeah. first of all, that's not true because always water mix. But when there's a current, it takes time for water to mix. It always maybe it just mix. maybe it's just visually. No, no, no. They were talking about yeah, visually. visually or not. No, the Quran. Look what the Quran says. Okay. The two water will never mix. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So it's not. They are, they will not even touch each other. There's a barrier between them. You see the word barrier? Yeah. Between them, a barrier. Between the can two you, water you see in the videos, those, there's no barrier. There's water can you give me the chapter, please? Yeah, this is a chapter 55, and this is verse yeah. number 19 and 20. And this is about uh, the God of Islam, because he's a fool. He claimed can that... You go can you go on the tafsir? Please? Oh, show it tafsir, no problem. He, he, you know, he claimed that the the water, the salty water, and the fresh yeah. water, they never ever mix, never. So okay. the God of Islam trying to explain why there's a fresh water, and why there's salty water. I thought, isn't this one to do with heaven? Because no. he is talking about heaven here. Yeah, I'm talking about you, your God. He makes always things. Falafel, shall you know? The verse after have nothing to do with the verse before it. This is what Islam is about. You know, Muhammad is just making a rap. Is is just being silly. So it's because it was um, not organized. Ah, so it's not his thought is not organized. Ah, okay. So now the revelations are different too. Ah, the How revelation is different. Ah, okay. You see, I was missing understanding the whole thing. You know, thank you, Hassan, for correcting me. Uh, let me just look at it. <laughs> no, my friend. So if we go now, this is chapter 55, and we yeah. go to verse number 19 and, and 20. Let us read together. 19. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, here. All right. Here we go. 
Remember the Muslims in their videos, they say to you, oh, this is salty water, and you know, they don't mix it, brother. This is... well, you can go right yeah. now to the kitchen, get a cup of salt water and a cup of fresh water and put it in one pot. You will see they mix immediately. But this is not the Quran I'm speaking about. It says here, it is he who has let free of the two seas. There's two seas. One yep. is a salty water and one is a fresh water. So the God of Islam, he think that fresh water, there's a sea of fresh water. Okay. One but they, is it doesn't say that in the Quran. No, it says that. It says who will let it doesn't knowledge? say salty and sweet. It just says two seas. No, it says هذا عذب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج. This is Quran, chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-three. Twenty-five, fifty-three. Yeah. Okay, let me check. Who will البحرين هذا عذب فرات وهذا okay. ملح أجاج. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. uh, two seas. One is salty and one is a fresh. Okay. Yeah. And then he set a barrier, a complete partition between them. See, in the Muslim video, they deceive people. They say they don't pause this part. There's a complete partition. They say to you concentration, different concentration, the salt concentration, blah blah blah, all the garbage. But this is not what the Quran is saying. Between them, there's a barrier which none of them can transgress. None. But this is not true about the salty water and the salt fresh water. They can, right? If you make a river, always the river yeah. go in the sea, they go and they mix, and the, you know, the river will disappear in the sea. Meaning. Yeah, maybe he's talking visually. No, let us see. No, the barrier, you see, the, he used the word barzakh. Barzakh, okay. barzakh is a piece of land. And they lie when oh. they made those videos. So, so they don't transgress upon each other, which would spoil the character of the water. Like, it would not be totally fresh and would not be totally salt, which were created by Allah. So the Quran claimed that it's a miracle that Allah He made two seas for our benefit, and He will never let the water which is fresh mix with the salty. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. Are you sure it means um, barrier? I mean land. Yes, yes. Uh, it says you. barrier. Yeah, I will show you the word barrier. Uh, you, the word bar barzakh is, an, is a land, piece of land. Why does it say barrier? Here? Okay, let me show you. Here we go. We continue. Okay. Uh, here we go. Actually, there. Read it with me. Meaning, he placed a barrier of land between the two type of water. You see it? Um, yeah. Okay. So why they lie making those videos? And Zakir Naik, he made a video about it. Brother Tata, the Quran, it's chapter 25-23. It says that the water is going to be sick together. <laughs> and it's very, very clear that the proof is to be correct. A scientist in name is John W. Z. The scientist from Japan. He said this is the true truth. <laughs> and the concentration of the water is the next thing. When the whole thing is about barrier of land between the two water, have nothing to do with concentration of salt water. The Quran is saying it clearly. Well, I will never let them mix. I have a barrier, a land between them. Wait, what's the issue with this? This is stupid. So what? This so is, what? Uh, no, let me tell you why, why it's stupid. Because okay. the, the fresh water we have is coming from the sea anyway. And there's no barrier. It's a cycle. This fresh water keep going. We drink yeah. it, right? We drink it. It go in the sewage. Either it's going to disappear by the sky. If it, let's say, like in Saudi Arabia, next to uh, Mecca, there's a big lake of shit. Excuse me, of shit. It's called uh, the the lake of uh, misk. Imagine they call it misk, misk. You know, misk like perfume. <laughs> because it's like a, it's like a for for a joke. But it's a lake okay. of poopoo. -poo, you know. Now this this water there is going to vibrate, correct? I don't know. I've never what been there. I don't know. Okay. Well, I would, I would, I would, I would, <laughs> Come on, son. The water, if you put your laundry outside, okay? Yeah. Your laundry is wet. Where is the water will go? The sun will come and the water will vibrate, correct? Okay, yeah. Okay, that water will go where? In the, in the, in the, in the space, in the sky, correct? And then it will go up and make a cloud. And then the cloud will make rain again. But however, the rain can be, yeah. can fail either in the sea or in the land, correct? Yeah, and the rain is going to be fresh, so the, it's mixed, and they are not mixed, they are not, uh, they are not separated. And even the rivers, the biggest river in the world is Amazon River, or the Nile River, or any river, all of them they end in the ocean. So it's a cycle. So when he say we never let them mix, it's a joke, it's a lie. 
So the Quran claimed that we made a miracle for you, that they will mm. never transgress. You see, he doesn't say they, they, like they go and cycle and it's a, he says will never ever transgress, which none of them can transgress. You see it? Yeah. But all of us, we knew, even now in Saudi Arabia, they have a salty water transformed into fresh water. Correct? Okay, yeah. So what do you mean to don't transgress? And not only that, you can swim inside the ocean sometime and you find a spring of water coming from the ground. It's a fresh water. It's possible. Correct? I don't I don't know what he's talking about here. Well, this, this is a crazy sees... guy. No, he is claiming that why you don't believe in Allah, the one who separated the two water for you. He put a barrier but between which, them. Which two waters is he talking about? We don't know. Which what? Which two waters is he talking about? He told you the two seas, one is a fresh and one is salty. <laughs> but which seas is he talking There's about? There's no such a thing. There's no water of fresh seas. It's a fiction. Do you remember when when the sun set in the murky water, the spring of murky water? Yeah, but that was in um, Zulkarnain's perspective. Okay, so why you expect this to be smarter? And the Zulkarnain perspective, where it says perspective, can you show me? I will do this with you, Hassan. You and all the Muslims. If yeah. you can show me in the Quran, it says that this is how he thought. Yeah. And Allah saying that I will shave my twenty-seven beard. It was twenty-six yesterday. 27. Because he said he found he found it. Exactly. So Allah saying to you, he found the sun sitting in murky water. Yeah. So Allah, Allah didn't find so it. So Allah reporting finding a, a false find. No, because Allah didn't find it. So No, found no, no. It. You see, they ask him. Tell us about yeah. the They asked Muhammad. They made a challenge for him. The Jews. Do you know Prophet Zulkarnain, the Edith Muhammad, he thought he's a prophet because they said so. So he made a story now. And there is a book written by a Syrian person about Zulkarnain, the man with the two horn. A man, mm. is, the, the person is a real person. He is Alexander the Great. But the story is fiction story. So Muhammad, he took the story and he put it in his Quran and he claimed that's from God. But look what he said. And this is why the Muslims, they come to defend their religion by all the fabrication they can. All right. If we read together, he, if we read together, yeah. where in there it says that Allah, he said, he thought the sun is sitting in murky water. Can you set, send me the chapter, please? Chapter 18, verse number 86. Okay. Yeah, he found it by people. No, no, no. It says, read with me carefully, until when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Yeah. He found it. Okay. Did he did it say he found it? Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't say he thought. Um, but it doesn't say this, the sun's literally right there. No, it says because he found this he, until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Until now, Allah is talking. Correct? Maybe that was the closest um, don't, don't, don't tell me location. Let us uh, focus with me. Until, okay. until, when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is that yeah. location? It's a location, but this is not true. But in the legion, there is a place where the sun set. So here we have two things confirmed to each other. He reached a place where the sun set. Otherwise, the sun set everywhere. Right? I don't know where you live right true. now, but the sun true, set true. everywhere. You know? yeah, yeah. So he reached a place, and that is a place where the sun set. So this is number one find. Number two okay. find, he found it sitting in a spring of a black, muddy, muddy spring of water. Are you sure it says black, muddy spring? Well, it's in uh, Hamia. Hamia usually is a murky, and uh, 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 you see the Muslims are confused about there's different reading for the, the, the word Hamia. Some reading yeah. says Hamia, some reading say Hamia. However, both of them mean at the end, it is murky and it's ugly and it is hot, boiling. So, and you will notice here it says spring. What Zakir Naik, he explained, he says, brother, if you go to the ocean and you see the sun going to the ocean, so you see the sun is going to the ocean. But yeah, it, that's what I was watching. Okay, but it says here that's spring. Do you see the word spring? Yeah. There's no ocean. Well, he, it says water. Spring. It says a spring. Yeah, spring of water. No, no, hold on. He didn't, even the word water is not even mentioned in Arabic. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, here we go. Wajadaha. Okay. Yeah. Tagrubu fi ainin hamia ain. 
That's it. What does Hamia mean? Hamia, uh, the murky, the muddy, the, the hot. You said hot water. Yeah. No, no. Hamia, because it says Ain. Ain is a spring. Obviously, it must be a spring of water. You know? Yeah, so this, water. This is the word we used, but he did not use the word water. He used the word Ain. Ain in Arabic, it can be even your eye, you know? Okay, let me yeah. see what Hamia means. So, Hamia, let me show you even your prophet what he said. You, what, what do you think? Okay, let, let, let me ask you. Do you accept what your prophet explained the verse or you don't accept him? Yeah, if it's the authentic hadith. Okay, yeah. so why must Sahih, yeah, Okay, but you said to me that they told you yep. that this is in the perspective of Zulqarnain, correct? Yeah. Okay, why they lie then? Why they lie to you? Why? What do you why? Mean? Do, because Muhammad he explained the verse. Oh, I haven't seen the okay. Um, read, read, the with me. read with me. Go ahead. Go you read it for us. Okay, it's, it's going to take a bit of time. One second is still loading. No problem. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. Hmm. Okay, so so why you are you just say to me in the perspective of Zulkarnain? <laughs> yeah, in the perspective the, of Zulkarnain. The dear prophet says that he would say it because it it was revealed in the Quran. Okay, but he's saying, do you know where the sun set? So yeah. Zulkarnain was wrong or was right? So if Muhammad he is saying he agree that the sun yeah. set in murky water, this is obviously what the Quran is saying that this is where it set. Correct? Wait, wait, wait. Um, does it say in in the Arabic? In yes, the spring? yes. تَغْرُبُ فِي عَيْنٍ حَامِيَةٍ صحيح الإسناد. Authentic. Um, صحيح in chain. Alright? فَإِنَّهَا تَغْرُبُ فِي عَيْنٍ حَامِيَةٍ Is that the only hadith there is? It doesn't matter, my friend. Uh, okay, are you saying your prophet now is a fool? You do not know what the Quran is saying, and Zakir Naik, he know better what the Quran means. But this is what happened because it's an embarrassment for anyone who believe in Islam to believe that the God of Islam is saying such a stupid, silly thing. So now we have to make fabrications. Yeah, I don't know why he said that. Uh, so, so you see, so obviously Muhammad he is saying the sun set in murky water. Look, Muhammad is the one is asking the question. Do you know what the sun said? Correct. Yeah, because it doesn't it doesn't go down into anything. Yeah, but who is the one asking the question, Muhammad? Yeah, the guy he says, I don't know. Allah and His apostle know best. Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of man. So he said yeah, that, to him, "You know where the set?" I replied, "Allah and His apostle know best." He said, "It's set in a spring of water, which is mm. hot, not warm." Fast translation. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. That's wrong. Correct. Yeah. So how Muhammad is a prophet then? Well, I don't know too much about this hadith. My friend, you do not know much. I mean, come on. So, so what we would do, each time we show you Muhammad saying, I do not know, and then we run forward. So Yeah, that's why I asked for another Hassan, one. Just in case. Why, you don't, why you don't say, I am out of Islam, my friend, right now? You are out of Islam already. You left at Islam. Close. I'm close. You, I'm close. You left, you're close to leave? No, you left already. You are just being a star, stubborn. <laughs> no, because this I don't know. Come on, if you, if I am you, I will convert to Islam now after seeing this. Look, in, in Islam, brother, we notice now women they have testicles. Do you know why I'm not married, uh, Hassan? This between you, I will mute you too, so nobody hear it. You know, when when I heard the Quran saying that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, I get scared. Imagine Hassan. Oh yeah, we didn't finish that one. Hassan, imagine, brother, you marry a woman. We didn't finish that. Hold on, we go, we go. Imagine, brother, okay. you marry a woman. And you go to the bedroom with her and now she took off her clothes alhamdulillah she's my wife now i'm ready for it i'm so excited and then like what she take off her top and boom like what she have a breast testicles that's deep 
And this is why, brother, I'm scared, terrified not to get married because Allah taught me that women, they have a breast testicles in their breast. I don't want that. Where does that. it say that? Well, it says that. Hold on, let's go back there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we didn't finish that one. <clears throat> Here we go. Let us go back. I think I remember you, you were talking about this one time. Ah, the how, location. Many, how many years you are watching my videos? Location of the necklace or something. Yeah, how many years you are watching my videos? Not years, just a few days. few days? A few days and this yes. has happened to you? <laughs> okay, listen. Now let us continue. Uh, because let's... I didn't know. I okay, didn't know about okay hold on. So let us see. It says here. <clears throat> yep. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلِّبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Meaning. Yeah proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs the back can you give me the chapter please the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman do you see the screen chapter 86 verse number six and seven 86 six okay backbone of the yeah mm. yeah i see it you see it yep I'm sure scientifically you are amazed with the knowledge of Allah and His Prophet. I don't know why he said that. Hassan, I advise you not to get married, my friend. <laughs> I mean, come on, you don't want to go with your wife with my respect. Your, I don't know if you are married. Are you married? No, not yet. Don't do it. Because as you see, women, they <laughs> lie to us. They don't have a breast. Those are testicles. <laughs> Honestly, brother, I'm, I'm telling you, I swear by Allah, look with me. The backbone of the man and the ribs of women, meaning it's yellow, fine texture, brother. Come I in. saw Zakir Naik's video. The guy is Zakir Naik again. <laughs> no, but I didn't see the rib one. I saw yeah. the backbone. One. Well, you will not see the rib one because we ripped him off apart already. Um, so, Hassan, come on. Why you don't say mm. I am out of Islam? <laughs> you are laughing at the Quran. You are laughing at the... So say it. Everybody is listening. I'm expecting your honesty. Because I, I could get in trouble for it. Ah, okay. So you are out of Islam, but you don't want to say it in public. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend. You just agree that you are out of Islam. So I am so happy for our friend, Hassan, who called me and saying, what's wrong with it? And now he decide <laughs> he is out of Islam. And you just agreed. Hallelujah. So, my friend Hassan, mm. now as long you are out of Islam and your hands is clear from the teaching of the devil, Ooh. I invite you to believe in Jesus. What say you? I'm going to have to do a bit more research on I'm Christianity. Here to help you. I'm here to help you. I take advantage of having you here. I'm, I'm so glad that you called me. And Thank you. I am here to serve you. I'm not here to... You see, maybe like people, you know me, I mean, I, I, I make comedy even if I, I make fun of myself, correct? Mm, I just yeah. made, made, made fun of the way I look like, correct? So yeah. the comedy here is not about insulting people. It's just, you know, let's have fun at the same time, learn something good. So now we, uh, we understand that Islam is a false religion and you are out of it. And we praise the Lord for sending you to, to call us today. And yeah. in the same time, why Hassan don't accept or believe in Jesus as Savior? What do you think? It's too it's too quick to make a decision. I'm not asking I need you to, to make a decision. I'm, I'm not asking I you to still make need to watch more of your videos as well. No problem. I'm not asking you to make a decision. I'm just having a conversation with you now, trying to find out Yeah. what is making you not, you know, I understand maybe you have short, uh, short in knowledge, you want to study, yeah. that's good. But if there's anything I can help you with for now, no, I, re I never really had any issues with Christians, other than we believe in different gods. Okay, Hassan, before you go, I yep. will give you a sentence better than yeah. all the books in the world. What do you think? Okay. If I can show you that Jesus said one sentence. Yeah. You see, there's, right. there's a, the Hindus have books, right? Yeah. Okay, Buddhists have books. Is it from the Bible? Philosophers, yeah, yes, from the Bible. There's tons of books, and all those books supposedly trying to make you a better human being. Correct? Yeah. Okay. But there's nobody ever can write better than a sentence which is mm. better than all the books in the world. 
Okay, show me. And when I show it to you, I want you to be honest with me. Okay. And tell me what do you think, and what is your response? I want you to respond to Jesus, not to me. All right. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. want you to respond to me. I want you to say to the person who said this sentence, whatever come in your mind. Okay. All right. Can you show me the, send me the sure. chapter and stuff? Let me wait for you on the screen. And we will go from there. Okay. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. I want you to read with me what Jesus said. And there is a response will come from you. You know what, let me show the whole chapter, hold on. There is no need for verses. This website show, shows just verse by verse. Is it the one, love for your enemies? Man, you did read my mind. I saw it in the chat. Ah. I'm reading it now. Ah, okay. 5.44. Exactly. This website is taking time to open and not responding. All right. So, read with me. Yeah. I have a question on this. No problem. Yeah. But I want you first, before you make a question, I yeah. want you to respond to Jesus. What do you say to him? Uh, what do you mean? Will In you... response to this chapter? Verse. Well, just this verse. I say to you, yeah. one sentence of Christ's teaching, and I believe yeah. that this sentence can fix all mankind drama and pain and failure love your enemy do you agree that this is better than all the books in the world one sentence if a human being practice it a human being is in heaven already you do not need to go to heaven he is in heaven already love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you mm. that you, you may be children of your father in heaven amazing well, it's different to the Quran. But what do you say? Don't you feel that so this is this is even he this is heavy? Even if someone, even if someone does you wrong, love them. That's what he's saying. But isn't it isn't it amazing? Yeah. Isn't it this is will solve all our problems? Why I yeah. have why you have, uh, why we have police. Why if it was world, if it was World War Two, it wouldn't solve our problems. If we, why we have police? Why we have army? Why we have weapon? Why, why we have security issues? Why we are worried? Why we, because simply there is enemies. Yeah. There's somebody want to take advantage of you. He's an enemy. There's a, a scammer. There's a cheater. There's a, a, a killer. There's a rapist. There is a, a, a country want to take over a country. There's a big fish want to eat the small fish. But mm. if all of us we live in in this earth and we practice one sentence that we love our enemies there is no enemies left so if someone's beating you up how do no, you no, no, respond no, i want to focus with me okay. love your enemies yeah. if all of us we practice it even the one who want to beat me up he will not beat me up but if all of us practice it what's the point no you oh. see the point here that jesus is teaching us how to have a better life yeah. Better life is not about to be hateful. You see, Muslims, they call me names, etc. And sometimes I am, like I say, uh, uh, potato, tomato, whatever, you know, donkey. But I don't hate them. I will never hate them. Yeah, I know that. So, I remember you said that before. Yeah, so we love the Muslims to save them. Not because it's sometimes about hugs. This is not silly talk. This is deep. Love your enemies is how you love them. 
Yeah. First, well, know, even we Muslims do that to you. No. The Quran says we to you, to. no. The Quran says to you, kill them until they pay the jizya and have to be humiliated. Wasn't that in war? No. Because Muhammad, he said, attack the Christian and the Jews for they don't believe in Muhammad. So in Islam, always Islam is in war. Anyone who don't believe in Islam is in war with Allah. That's why Muhammad divided the land to two land, land of peace and land of war. The land of peace is the land where Islam is controlling. Any land is not a land of Islam, is a land of war. Oh. Everyone says that was to do with war. No, with war exactly, because Muslims always in war. Muhammad ibn Order, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. All Wait, mankind. where did you say that? Uh -huh. you don't you know you know you don't know it? No, I didn't see that. Okay. That he has to kill all mankind. Alright. Until they say there's no God but Allah, etc. Oh I didn't see that before. We will show it to you, no problem. Is it a hadith or is it in the Quran? It is a hadith and it is authentic and the same in the Quran. The Quran chapter nine verse twenty nine says fight those who don't believe in Allah in the last days. Until you know, either they convert or they pay. Yeah, so I see that. Yeah. So here, this is the hadith. You know, all of it. Look how many. This is all is sahih, authentic, al Bukhari, okay. etc. So I've been yeah. ordered to to kill all mankind. Uqatil, to fight mm. to kill, not to fight by sandals. You know. So until they do what they declare, there is no god but Allah, and there is no messenger but me, and they have to pay zakat, and they have to pray as we pray, and they have to eat as we eat, and then. If they do that, only if they do that, their blood and their money is safe from my hand. Yeah, this this is why I stopped looking at hadith so much. Because because it, I didn't like them. Ah, you don't like what you don't like Muhammad's speeches, but you like uh, Zakir Naik videos. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking from the Quran, that's why. I know the Quran is more ugly than the hadith. What are you talking about? The Quran is even teaching Muslims, even when they go after their enemies to enjoy torturing them, cut their fingertips, cut their hands, cut their feet. Well, you know, your prophet, he put nails in the eyes of his enemies. He's evil. Well, okay. You know, the same as those you see in the movies, you know, like they, they put nails, the, the terror movie, horror movie, sick movies. They, you know, Muhammad, he did exactly even more. So when I used to see these hadiths, I used to become more of Quran Muslim but you cannot be more of a Quran Muslim because the Quran is more ugly like is it the Quran is better isn't it the Quran says cut their necks <laughs> cut their fingertips cut who's their hands from the opposite huh who's, welcome who's back next? now we'll so sorry who's cut whose necks and fingertips no no believers but maybe for a reason for, yeah, for sure there's a reason they don't believe in Allah <laughs> It's a gang mentality. So my friend, with Jesus, yeah. you are a different person. With Muhammad, you are a criminal. Does it not say anywhere in the Bible to kill someone? Sure, you know, there's, there's wars in the Bible. You see, the Bible is a book of history and the book of God in the same time. So No, I mean like as, as a rule. Well, people, they are killing you. The Bible allow you to go and defend yourself and go in war for survival. So like as an example, you know, the Muslim, they say to you, uh, the Bible is speaking yeah. about the smashing the head of the babies, but this is a, was a vision of a person saying that this is not God. So yeah, I know there was just stories and some. Yeah, of them. so Muslims they distort the verses and distort the meaning, and they say, look what the God of the Bible is teaching violence. The Jews are people who lived thousands of years ago, and they themselves they've been enslaved twice, the whole nation. So they have to survive, and it's not fair to say to them. Oh, the one who beat you, just let him kill you. Jesus did not say that, by the way. When I showed you the verse about Jesus saying, love your enemy, it does not mean if somebody come in to rape your wife, you love him, you give him a hug. No, you don't. You know what I mean? This is not yeah. what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying not to be an enemy of people, not to be hateful. So if we can spread the Christianity and everybody love everybody, then those criminals are not exist. So the fight of a human being illness, which is hate, crimes, killing, rape, is to be a follower of Christ, not to hurt others.
You know what I mean? Yeah. So when when uh, when we as a Christians we speak about Jesus, mm. we talk about Jesus who is a judge, and he himself will be aggressive in the judgment day. So if somebody says to you, okay, Jesus love your enemy, does not mean that Jesus will not come one day and he will send people to hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he is yeah. loving and love we need is for our life. It's not he, he needed. The Bible says for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So God, he loves us, but you do not need our love. We need to be loving to each other so we can live better. So Jesus here is teaching us how to have a better quality of life solution for our problems not to be a hateful person but doesn't mean if a criminal he come to you like somebody will say to you jesus said if somebody hit you and you are cheek give him the other cheek correct yeah but jesus talking about somebody want to hit you not somebody want to slaughter your face somebody oh. you know use, use the law in the old days there was a law where if you hit a person in certain cheek you go to jail So Jesus saying to you, well, there's a, you live in a government, you live in a country, you live in a state, and they have a police. Don't be evil and go hit and kill. Don't revenge. Seek justice. And the Bible in the Old Testament says that the one who kills should be killed. So the Bible does not say the one who kills somebody, let him go. Love any, you love your enemy it does not mean a criminal he should go after killing or a rapist oh, okay. should go. No, love yeah. your enemy is. That we have enmity for no reason except maybe our greed, maybe our jealousy, maybe uh, we inherited that from our parents. So don't don't be driven into enmity. Like now, you are a Muslim. I'm a Christian. Okay. Yeah. So now, because I'm a Christian, the Quran teach you to hate me. I say to you, no. Why you wanna hate me? We can be good friends. Correct. Yeah. This is what Jesus is saying to me. But for you as a Muslim, if you stay as a Muslim, and thank God today you left Islam, the Quran in chapter 5, verse 51 says, take not Christian and Jews as a friend. Correct? The Quran. Yeah, the Quran says, take not Christian and Jews as a friend. And if you take them as a friend, you became a Christian. You are out of Islam. Where does it say that? Here we go. I've never seen that one before. Here we go. It's in front of your eyes. Read it. We're allowed to be friends. No, you are not. No, my friend, you are not. They lie to you. What? So? Are you surprised? Or you who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as friends, they are, but friends to one another. And if any amongst you takes them as friends, then surely he is one of them. Oh. See? Is there a tafsir for this? So now if you take me, yeah, you read tafsir, Ibn Abbas and Mikathir are the same. What if it's about wars and stuff? No, there's an, a person, he want to take you as a friend, obviously he's not in war with you, correct? A person who mm, will take you as a true. friend, he is not in war, obviously. So, you don't mind to be my friend. Islam says, if you take a Christian prince as a friend, you are no Muslim no more, you are a Christian. Yeah, that's not right. Not right. That's why I was, I'm happy that today you left Islam, my friend. And as you see, Islam is a disgusting religion. So, let us do this, me and you, Hassan. Okay. You will stay watching and see what I do. And anytime you feel like you want to call me and ask me yeah. questions about Christ and you feel like you want to accept Christ, I will be happy. Or even to ask questions, I will be happy to have you. But I want to say something to you before you go. You see, me myself, I'm going to go and sooner or later I will sleep. But I don't know really if I will wake up or not. How I know. Okay. But for me... Uh, I, I do have a question really quickly about the Bible. Okay, go. You know, in Exodus 21. Okay. 21... Um, which one is this? 21.10. Hmm. It says, because I know you were talking about multiple wives in Islam. Yeah. But here it says, 
If he takes another wife to himself, he shall not diminish her food, her clothing, or her marital rights. Hmm. And so he can take another wife for himself as well in Christianity. No, this is not true. You see, in Christianity, it says clearly that God it says that a man, he marry one woman and there will be one person. That's why Jesus, he forbid a person to leave his wife and uh, to just seek another one or to get another one. And the Bible says clearly that yeah. a person shall not multiply his wives too. So if we understand, you know, understand the, the, the you know, we are talking about people a thousand of years ago. Uh, mm. And what they do, the Jews, this is the Jewish people. Uh, there's, there's, let's say there's a law is coming from God and there's a law is coming from the man. So Jesus, he confirmed the law coming from God. The law is coming from the man, is, is the law of the man. As an example, do this, do that, and the king is saying that, that he is the uh, uh, he is the king. He can make Suleiman, he make a rule. But Suleiman himself, he multiply his wives, right? The, yeah. He's a king. So let us choose the, the highest, uh, let us say, the highest person of, of, uh, of, of the Jews, not the lowest. Okay. Uh, when a person he multiply his wife and yeah. he is the king shouldn't be the king of the first one to obey the word of God I don't understand okay like the Muslim they say Suleiman is a prophet right yeah okay but a prophet of God should be the first one to follow the law of God not the last one Okay. Right? So yeah. when he break what is God telling him, obviously he is not following God no more. Regardless if he claim if people call him prophet or he he call himself a prophet. Or he claim to Ooh. be a king or he is a king. Mm. So if you go in the Bible and we will show you an example of verses, it says yeah. that a king shall not multiply his wives. He shall not. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Okay. I've seen that. So why he shall not? Because simply is not right. But they do. But then over here, why does it say that if he does, if he does multiply? If he does, because simply they are, you know, they are, let us say, uh, to make it simple for you, uh, yeah. there is things in society, it is not right to do, but people they do. So it's not an approval for marrying another wife, but he is saying okay. to them, at least, okay, you marry a second wife, well, mm. don't be idiot. You know, be nice to her, you know, but he is not saying to them, go and marry second wife or third wife or fourth wife. People, they okay. do things. It's like, you know, when you say to somebody, uh, 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 you know, when you do, uh, let's say, there's a person, he beat his wife. Yeah. Hmm? And beating women is wrong, but the Quran says, beat them. And then Muhammad, he says, uh, it says beat them like it says beat them like uh, here we go so a person who wanted to fix that stupidity and he said beat them lightly but the Quran doesn't ever say lightly right so he's trying it to does. make it like he just, uh, did not approve the thing but he approved it because beating is beating so the the people they do things the Jews are breaking the law of God already but you said like you said don't be an idiot when you do it don't so be, if you do it do lightly, be, do be an idiot. But still, he is beating the women. Here, he is saying to them, you know, you are, you know, you are a person who is doing things. Yeah. And you, are, you are doing it even whatever you do, you are doing it wrong. So it's not a bad teaching, and it's nowhere it says you can marry more than one wife. But it's something people they do. It's like when I say to somebody, when you uh, fornicate, repent. Is that mean yeah, I'm, same thing with same thing with beating. If no, they beat them, no, do it because the Quran ordering to beat. It's not it says light, light. No, no, there was nowhere it says lightly. Nowhere in the Quran it says what, lightly. No, my what's friend. What's the Arabic word for the? There's lightly. no, there's no lightly. You know, you can uh, let me let me advise you to do something. Okay. When you go in the Quran, you read a verse, copy the Arabic text as it is, like chapter four, verse number thirty-four. And, yeah, I've done that and, before, and but it, it's not you, accurate. Okay, you it's will see that accurate. the word "aright" lightly is not there, so obviously it's a it's a it's a lie, you know. Uh, so it's a it's a fabrication, and it's not there. But that will not change the fact that Muhammad is saying, "Beat your wives." So oh. if I say to a person, "If you steal, repent after stealing," does not mean I'm approving his yeah. theft. 
Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. If I say after you steal, you better, or uh, you fornicate, you better repent from fornication. Does not mean as fornication is okay. If I yeah. say uh, after you lie, uh, uh, repent and don't, you know, so, so, so here we, you know, we have to be careful. Uh, we don't take a story out of what, you know, this is why Jesus said to them, uh, uh, speaking about the marriage, that the Jews, yeah. they give the woman her paper and they let her go. Why? Because now she became old and now it's time for this Jewish guy to replace her. Even Abraham oh. himself, Abraham, he married a second wife, correct? Abraham. In Islam. In Islam and in Christianity, in the Bible for the Jews. Abraham, he married Hajar. She, is his, she was his servant. So he have now a second wife. But is it God who said to Abraham, go and marry a second wife? No. The guy was trying to find a solution. He didn't have ch children. So he said to himself, okay, my wife, she is very old. And what I would do? I am in, living by myself in this desert. I need, you know, I need uh, boys to mm -hmm. help me to survive. I'm getting old. So he did not marry just for the sake of marriage. So even that one, which is not really for the sake of, uh, the sake of having sex with a new wife, she is young or no, it was for having children. Even that one, it was not God who approved him. Okay. And you can read you know, the chapter about it. You know, you will see that it's God is, is, is against actually that, that, that relationship. But Abraham, because he was desperate to have a child, he mm -hmm. had a second marriage. Secondly, there's something you need to know. That there's, right. there's law, and those law came in, in, in degrees. As an example, yep. when... when uh, when the Quran speak about uh, the children of Adam, the children of Adam, yeah. they marry each other's sisters, correct? They had to. All right. But they had to, and at the same time, there's no law that says you cannot, right? It's only for them. You know, only I'm saying, no, it's not only for them, by the way. I can show you. Islam, you can do that. You can marry your daughter. Chapter 25. You know, you can marry your own daughter, and I can show it you right now. No, it, no, it doesn't say that. Oh, no, it says that. Let me show you. Here we go. But before we go there, you see the story of the children of Adam, that, that there's two, uh, two boys, which is a funny story, and they have two yeah. sisters, and each of them, they are twins. So that each, uh, Allah, he gave the children of Adam, each of them, uh, one male, one female, twin. So if she give okay. it to him, one male, one female. So the mm. two boys, they want to marry one sister because the other sister, the other twin, she have a cross eyes. Very funny story. Okay. Oh, I never so, heard that. So what Allah, he said to them, okay, make a, a sacrifice. And the one I accept his sacrifice, he take the women who have no cross eyes. Poor girl, the one who have a cross eyes. So, so uh, 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 Abel and Cain, they, they, they give sacrifice. And one of them, he gave uh, beef. Allah, he like, sorry, he had like lamb. And Allah, he took the lamb, and the other one, he gave uh, zucchini. Allah refuses zucchini, he don't like zucchini, he's not a vegetarian. So, so Allah, he made the person who gave the, the lamb marry the child yeah. who have no cross eyes. Wonderful. So here you notice that nobody would have said that somebody is marrying his sister. Correct? Because if you think about it, all of us, based on this, are children of incest. Mm. Correct? <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that, please? Based on this, all of us, yep. human being, all of us, the black, the white, the Asian, all of us, based on the story, we are children of incest. Sex in the family, correct? Is it the same in Christianity? The same. The Bible, you know, the Adam children, they marry their sisters. Well, well there's no yeah. other human being. That's it. Yeah? So, yeah. But nobody gets upset. Nobody says this is haram. Nobody says this is... A, so what happened? Yeah, because it was for a good cause. This, so you see, the, so the good cause justify what is e even supposed to today is evil, correct? Yeah. Okay. So here you see a human being, the, 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 the brain of a human being, how he play with things. When he want, it's evil. When he want, it's not evil. When he want, he go blind. When he want, so mm. if you are a person who is against multi-marriage, then you have to deny it. You have to reject it any time. doesn't matter if it's in the time of David or in the time of Abraham or in the time of the Jews. So we Christian, we deny it. We say it is wrong. So mm. if people, they do it, this is their problem. Yeah. 
So this is why Jesus in Christianity, he forbid us from marrying more than a woman, a man and a woman, they will leave their parents and they will become one person, not go and change husband, like changing shoes or changing wives as changing shoes. This is not a joke. But in the same time, if a person, you know, uh, you know, there is a there is a there is a divorce, and divorce can happen for many reasons. But the, uh, the the important Christianity is that marriage is not as something to play with. It's not a joke. In Islam, it's a joke. Temporary marriage, misyar marriage, zawaj friend marriage. They call it marriage, but in fact, it's just a se sexual relationship for temporary enjoyment. The woman, she, she is young, we marry her, she gets old, we, we dump her. This is exactly what the Jews, they used to do, by the way. Oh. They marry the women when she is young, and when she is old, uh, you know, the Jews, me say to the women, I don't want you, go. And now, by doing that, he get rid of her, so I do not need to support her. Why you want to spend his money on someone she is old? She can't even, you know, cook, maybe. So he go and he marries someone, she is maybe uh, 16, 17, maybe 15, you know? So yeah. they used to abuse, obviously, the women. And this is why Jesus, he tried his best to make us think about women differently. You see, Jesus, he brought us to our humanity because a human being, he lost his humanity since long time ago. He's a criminal, he is a killer, he's a rapist, he's a thief, he's a jealous. He want to take as much as he can. He want to own. When I saw did he not did he not say anything about women specifically? Something good in well, the Bible. You see, the the Bible speak. Of, okay, well, let me let me tell you a, a very simple thing about women in the Bible. Okay. Have you ever heard of Mary? Yeah. Okay. Who is Mary? Jesus' mother. Okay. Jesus is God for the Christian, correct? Yeah. Okay. Jesus is born of a woman, correct? Yeah. Is that telling you something? Um, it just tells me God's miracle. That's it. No, God is telling me that women is not what always people look at, that she is dirty, she have menstruation, she have etc. I am God and I came to you coming to you through a woman. Okay, but men can't give birth. That's the only reason why. Men what? Men can't give birth. That's why it has to be a woman. No, no, no. But God still can come without Mary. He's God. He do not need okay. to be born of Mary, you know. So yeah. when God, he, you know, he, when the Muslim, they come to me, he says, your Jesus was inside a woman for eight months or nine months. Hello, you know, they're trying to make fun of God, trying to downgrade him that he is, you know, inside a, a womb of a woman. And this woman, she have uh, blood and she is a human being and he's born of a private part. So how he can be God? But you see, what make mm -hmm. God God is what he can do. And this God, he can do even go there and still he is God. He can be born of a, of a woman, yet he can raise people from death. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper, he can forgive sin, and he can tell the man, carry your bed and walk. So being born out of a woman did not change his nature. When the sun goes inside, let us say, we have a swamp. Yeah. For sure, we're not saying women are a swamp, but we are saying we as a human, you know, we, we have a we have the human nature. We have our dirt, we have our, we sweat, etc. But when we say, let us say we take a swamp, a very dirty water, and when the light of the sun hit the water, which one is going to affect who? Is the water going to make the sun dirty or the sun will make the water clean? The sun will make the water clean. And this is how Jesus is. So mm -hmm. Jesus will not be affected where he is. Wherever he goes, is going to be holy. If you go in the Quran as an example, and yeah. you remember the story of the burning bushes, which is a story from the Bible, from the Old Testament. The Moses one. Uh huh. Yeah. The Quran says that God told Moses, and this is again a story, a story from the Old Testament, 
Take off your shoes. Okay, take off your shoes. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember the story. Read carefully. Can you tell me the chapter, please? Chapter 20, verse number 12. Okay. I'm reading it. Yeah. Verily I am your Lord, so take off your shoes, you are in a sacred valley, in a holy ground. Yeah. Okay. But the earth is not holy. There's nothing holy about it. Bird, they do poo poo. <laughs> right? I mean, what is holy? Because it was earth? sacred, sacred valley. No, because There's God is there. Tua. You know, because the present of God is there. What is Tua then? Huh? It says Tua. What is this? Because this, uh, the, the idiot there, you not uh, know how to translate this, so he said, he, he put it as it is. If you go to different one, let us see. Yeah. The yeah. Valley of Tua, that's what it says. Yeah, it, it, yeah. he could not translate because supposedly uh, 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 this is a name, but I think this is not really a name. Uh, mm. This is coming from the Aramaic language. Uh, okay. Because uh, I think you know, like if you see Islamic interpretation for those verses, you will see how Muslims disagree about what they meant by Tawa. So they, most of them the same as in the verse about the father of Abraham is Azar. Abraham, he said to his father, Azar. They say Azar is the name of, uh, uh, of Abraham. But that's false because Azar is not really a name of father of Abraham. Uh, otherwise, uh, 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 sorry, it is a word means foolish. But because it's an Aramaic word, they do not know really what the word means. So they think it was the name of the father of Abraham. So Abraham was saying to his father, foolish, are you going to worship idols? The smart Muslims, they thought that the word foolish is the name of the father of Abraham because this is an Aramaic word. They do not know what the word means. You know? Now, apparently, it's Mount Sinai. Huh? Mount Sinai. It's a mountain, Mount Sinai. It doesn't matter, really. But I think I don't think this is a name. I don't mm -hmm. think this is a name of a valley. Uh, okay. I can't confirm really to you because uh, Muhammad always he got the word wrong, so we cannot we cannot really examine it for real. Uh, because always when he quote names, the names are wrong, the word are wrong. Like the a, a Toro Sinai, there's nothing is called Sinai, Sinai, you know. It was a mountain. Yeah, Mount but this Sinai. is wrong. This is a wrong name, and the word Tor is not Arabic. So okay. he mixed things together, he put them together and he tried to make you know something out of it. But here mm. you notice with me, our topic is, that he have to take off his shoe because yeah. it is a holy place, holy ground. Right? Okay. Okay. But what make it holy ground? Isn't it the earth because, is full of sin? But he's only talking about that specific valley. Doesn't matter, but what make it holy ground? Maybe he made it holy before he told him to take it off the shoes. Okay, what? But still, what make it holy ground? His presence. Exactly. So when a Muslim they speak about Jesus, mm. saying how Jesus can be born of a woman, woman is blessed. Even the Quran, chapter nineteen, verse nineteen, and verse before it, the verse before it, speaking about yeah. the Holy Son, who is announced as a gift for the amazing women, the blessed Mary. So. When they want the Muslims, they try to downgrade Jesus, make him a man who was born of a woman, and how that can make him God. And then suddenly we see that Jesus in 1919 is a holy person. So how is born of a private part of a woman, and then the Quran confirm he is holy. Here we see that the ground, this is chapter 28, verse number 30. When Moses he arrived at the fire, from yeah. the right side of the valley, and it says, from... Mm. The holy ground, the holy, the holy wood ground. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Why it's holy ground? I mean, there is a tree. Says, tree will have birds. Says, will do poo poo. You know, there's worms in the ground. There's nothing to make it holy, but the existence of God make it holy ground. What's wrong with that? Not nothing wrong. I'm saying that when they say okay. Jesus is in the shape yeah. of a man, that yeah. does not make him not a holy. Or he is not in a holy ground. Are you getting my point? You see the hypocrisy? They yeah, have. yeah. So when they want, they agree that the existence of God in a place will make it a holy ground, even the ground is not holy. When they want, they deny that, and Jesus is not holy no more. He is not God. But as you see, it is not 
this the, the the subject not the object what make it holy or not it is the existence of god i remember when you said um if god can do anything then why can he not be a man that's why I, exactly i and, just and why he I just cannot, forgot about why he cannot that. even be whatever he want i mean i wouldn't want to name things you know uh yeah so but but in this religion it's a religion of hypocrisy and they, 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 they try to format God as they wish. They change his shape as Allah, he changes his shape. He, sometimes he's a shin, sometimes he's a Santa Claus. But it doesn't matter really. There's no logic in their logic. Their logic is against their own. You yeah. see, Islam fail because Islam logic is against Islam logic. And it's not a consistent. Yeah, I never understood why they restricted God from being some something. Because like so the be. whole idea is, you say, okay, have you ever seen a Muslim? And you were a Muslim mm -hmm. like before you called me today. Yeah. Making fun of Jesus born of a woman without father? No, nobody would do that, right? The, so you're gone. Yeah, why? Because the Quran says so. So it's not because it's logical in Islam, but because Muhammad he said so. So if Muhammad said Jesus is God, yeah, Muslim they would say he's God. We have to face the truth, you know? Yeah. It is what Muhammad said is not what it is. Well, we used to say that. We used to make fun of you for having three gods. But we don't have three gods. Who said we have three gods? We have one god. Yeah, no. We just... That's what we were told. Yeah. But when I looked into it a bit more, it's not true. You see, uh, uh, we are Muslims. Yeah. Allah, he speak. he says, uh, we... Yeah, he does. They say, the scholars say that um, he's talking about, he's speaking in royalty. Hmm. So it is nicer for Allah to speak yeah. in royalty saying we, right? <clears throat> yeah, if look, he look wants how to. Time. All of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. Okay. So it is more suitable for Allah to be more than one then. Yeah. Because it makes him feel better when he say we. Right? It makes him feel better. Why? Well, this is what the Muslim says. He is, he is royalty, majesty, right? Inna anzalna ilayka kitab, we, we have but what's, down. Okay. So, why is that bad? Well, no, it's not, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's stupid. Yeah. This is stupid. Because this God, he is not we. Mm. Right? Literally, he is not we, right? He's just one. He's not a three person, he's not two person, he's one person, correct? And then he liked to call himself we because that is more suitable for him. He feel majestic, right? Yeah. But this is fake we then. And this is fake majestic. And if you are trying to say to me that Allah, he feels better when he call himself we, then it should be feel even better if he is really for real we. It made less sense today, more sense today. Because when you were talking about we would take a part, I would take a partner from ourselves, something like this. Hmm. That means there's more more of them. Exactly. But if so it he's is, including the maidens. Yeah, but if it is heaven. we, only as majestic as they say majestic, yeah. That is silly because, uh, you know, we and he is not we. That's fake. That's a lie. And if Allah, he take a language of a human being. You see, when a king, he says we, he is not speaking about himself. The king is speaking about yeah. himself and the nobles who elected him to be. He, the king is one of the nobles and the nobles elect one of them to be their king. So when he say we, he's speaking about his authority, which is given to him by the nobles. But Allah is yeah. not the same, and why Allah he need we to feel such a thing which is fake, right? Yeah. And uh, look here, the God of the Christians, He don't say we. <laughs> this okay. is the irony, you know what I mean? The Maybe God, it's because the translation was different. No, no, no. From Arabic what translation? One's from he don't say we. He don't say we. Like you see, like uh, the in the Bible it says Elohim. Elohim is God's. But we don't. We believe in one God. The word is Elohim, but yeah. Elohim is. But is. But you don't say we. Okay. So the one who is not a three person, he say we, and the one who is a three person, he don't say we. 
here you notice that yeah. there's self-confidence it's like i feel insulted if you say to me you don't say call me we i feel insulted that's mean i'm not self-confident so the mm. god the confident he who know who is he he says i am who i am not we who we we are this is the god of the bible we i am who i am he did not say we to earn majestic even though he is the father he is the holy spirit he is the son yet he did not use the word we because god is in three person jesus says i am the father says i am yeah. and even the holy spirit when appear it says this is my only begotten son so yet he don't use the word we even though we as a christians we accept god as a three person god do not need a little word to make him majestic there's nothing can make god majestic more than he is it's not a word it's not a description this is why if you go in the bible like many many christians they think like elohim is a name of god it's not or uh, uh, yahweh or uh, any word in fact this is not a true none of those are really names those are let us say just a sentence where god he described himself to moses i am who i am which means the one and exist by myself i do not need a creation i'm not a created didn't jesus say we one time in the bible we who what are you um, going to say wait let me let me quickly look for it yeah he says in john 3:11 hmm. verily truly very truly i tell you Oh, not this one. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. Yeah, but speaking. still, you people do not accept our testimony. Yeah, he's speaking to his disciples, all of us. We speak to people. We talk to people. He's not saying, I speak. All of us, we speak our testimony. He is between the people, right? He have his disciple with him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I say, like now, I say, uh, 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 you know, uh, we welcome you mm. because me and those who they are in the chat and those who support us and those who like what we do, you know. So we welcome you. We pray for you. So Jesus, he is not speaking about God here. He's speaking that we, all of us, we testify. All of us, we teach you. All of us, and even the disciple, they say the same because simply it was a teamwork, not one person. So okay. they are his disciples, and he is teaching his students that we do this and we do that, but he, here he is not counting gods. You know, he is speaking about them as people, and we, we go and we serve and we teach and we preach. Okay. Any question you want about Christianity? No, but I'm looking forward to your next stream. Hopefully, there's no. someone more smart than me. Oh, um, no, it's not about how it's... smart it is. You see, the smart a person who is smart, he will not, you know, I mean, I don't want to insult you, but a yeah. person who is smart, he should think this way. And sometimes even the smart ones, they go in a, in a let us say, they take a nap, long nap, you know, they don't, because being smart, <laughs> sometimes it hurt. Honestly, it hurt, you know. Yeah. So when you live in a society, and everything you believe around you believe in a stupid thing and then you start thinking about it and then you notice that this is stupid so what do you do you kill it you know because it hurt so even the smart one he have one of two choices either he decide to get smart and smarter then he will be in trouble for leaving islam or he stays smart by killing it so he think he's being smart i kill it i'm not going to think about it but if you think about it hassan you do not need to debate christian prince or to call him to know that islam is a stupid there's no way there's God. He promised me a lot of women for sex because I believe in him. That is not God. I've never seen stuff like this before, that's why. Or, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, a God who promised me, uh, okay, I believe in me, I will give you big boobs. Yeah. You know, that's not God. That's, I do not need to be genius to know. I mean, you don't need to be a scholar or a person of knowledge or, yeah, this is God. God is saying to me, believe in me and I will reward you big boobs. That's that's silly. That's stupid. That's you know. That's trashy. Mm. That's a, that is savage too. You know, 
because you know you are insulting women you're insulting my mother and your mother and your sister and your daughter and the reward of God should not be to go to such a thing I mean, yeah. is, even the word women he did not use he jumped right away to boobs so uh, uh, and he promised me they will be so young you know so uh, because uh, we are obsessed with uh, with the files you know with the file <laughs> Yeah, they all be so young, you know, they are the and no and no genie and no human brother. He put his finger there. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to go dirty, but yeah, this is how filthy it is. So yeah. I do not need to be genius to know that this is stupidity and this is going to be true. God don't promise such a thing. God is not a pimp. A pimp Why does it say equal age there? Well, this is actually it, is, uh, it doesn't say equal age here, by the way. Uh, yeah. a, tr a trap, a trap, the word to rob is mean dust, yeah. mean dust. So they are all from the same dust, which means they are different. That they have the same look, the same height, the same age, the same oh, okay. everything. You know, yeah. so the same dust, all of them. So, but the most important, they are kawaii, big boobs. Mm. <laughs> so I mean, so look, he jump when you say to me. I remember watching something about this. I think it was Mufti Mufti Mank, and he said, "There's nothing wrong with with the wanting this." This kind of thing, so See, I just went along with. I it. can justify right now. Nothing wrong with being with a file. No, I mean I'm talking about the, the breasts. Yeah, but those are breasts of of of, of uh, little uh, little childrens. Same time, let us say they are women. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Nothing wrong with wanting this. But I thought then, it was the whores. Look, he was no, hold on. Look, yeah, whores. The whores are uh, how old they are. How how old are they? You see here it says kawaii. This is speak speak they. about firm breast for very they are very young it's not really it's, they are big but they are firm they are just in their like they just they just get the boobs you know they just get them delivered mm. like when when a female she just got her breast coming out oh, yeah. you know this is what he's talking about they are firm coming out so they are not going to be like going down etc they are firm stand there like a balcony so allah is he, when Mr. Mink, he says to you, there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's yeah. wrong. Obviously, he is tempting me, seducing me by a sexual object, making the women sexual object, because now I don't even know that women. All what I care is having a woman have those. Yeah, I don't know true. she. I don't need, like, there's not someone you have a relationship, you talk to, you like <laughs> each other, you go to bed. Mm. Those are just made for sex. And each time you have sex with them, Allah, he will put his finger there and he will make them virgin again which is absolutely absurd and stupid. So, and not only that, he described for you that their vagina never been touched by a genie or by a human. I mean, he's going in details just to use your hormone. So, yeah. Mufti Mink, he says nothing wrong with that. But what if a man, he says to him, can I see your daughter breast? Because I like those two. And then I will marry her. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because if nothing wrong with that, to 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 wish to have that, okay. Well, okay. The guy wanna come and marry his daughter, and now he wanna be sure that the, those are the descriptions there. Otherwise, he don't like it. Because you just said to me, nothing wrong with that. You know, this is silly. This is stupid. So, in the same time, can't God say, "Is I will give you a wife," and mm -hmm. that's it? Isn't it God? He created Adam and Eve in heaven. Yeah. Okay, well, when God created Adam and then he created Eve, why he did not create 10 Eve, 50 Eve, a thousand Eve? How come one Eve was good for one man and now it is not enough? So Adam who was given one Eve and he was in heaven and he lost yeah. heaven. Now in order to get Adam back to heaven, I promise him endless number of women for sex. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> Same time, what can what what about the feeling of those women? What if they don't like me? No, Allah will make them go crazy about you. So Allah is manipulating their brain, programming yeah. them to be sex toys. And those females, they will be yeah. mistreated in heaven. Why? Because the Quran says they will be jailed. But actually a lot of my Muslim friends they're excited about this. Yeah, because Even they, they, are, they became perverted, companion yeah. restrained in their guns. Mm. Mm. 
So those females, they can't even go out. Yeah, they good. are jailed for eternity just to your for your sexual pleasure pleasure yeah and what make it more funny and more stupid that all those females they look the same and they have the same name and they have the same face the same height so imagine you go to a dating website and everybody in their website have the same face so the men they will look like Joseph that's what Muhammad say and the women they will look like the whore and all of them they look the same same height, the same age. Okay, so now you go to the heaven of Allah, and now Allah giving you a huge number of women, but all of them, those women, all yeah. of them, they look the same. So what the point? Because when you when you have sex with one of them, you go to the second one, it's the same copy. You know what I mean? You know when it says companions restrained, what does? What, what is he talking about? He's talking about those versions. They are going to be in your rooms and they cannot see another man. Muhammad is speaking to the Arab. They are jealous. They don't like the women to see others. So he, he gave yeah. them the good news. We will jail them inside the tent. They cannot see anything. Here they say is restraint, restraint in their gallants. In Arabic it says khiyam. Muhammad, he thinks that the women in heaven, they will live in, in a tent because he's a Bedouin man. <laughs> you are in heaven now and you are in a tent. Okay. Yeah, so everything in the promises prove to us that this is going to be from, from God because God did not give such a false, stupid promise. Look, look at this. Look at the fruits. Look at the fruit in the heaven. Hey, hey Allah, where is the banana? Hey Allah, can you give us a phrase? What is this? Mm. He, he, end, he end with this fruit at the end because in Arabic, he needed a word end with the letter N. Not because it's there. He's trying to Why? make Arabic music. Yeah, the Rumman. Oh. This is the word Rumman. So he needed the word with in, end with N. So he chose the word Rumman. But ask yourself, who care about this? I mean, this is heaven now. What is this? What is about? There's yeah. two spring of water. Or, or, you know, okay. Uh, why two? There's two heavens. Do you know that you will have two heavens, each one of you? One yeah, is, you can get. Yeah. Yeah, one is made from gold, one is made of silver. Like, what the heck? I will have two heavens. One is made from gold and one made of silver. Where I will live? Between them? And how ugly it is to have a heaven made from gold or made from silver. Imagine if all your room is painted gold or silver. How disgusting. Scary. It could be different from this kind of gold we have in this earth. Oh, my friend, this gold is gold. So there we go. Don't you see? I want you. I advise you to stop doing what the Muslims do. You you were a Muslim before you call me, and now not a Muslim. It can so be it's a habit. Gold. Hey, gold is gold. It's a habit. Okay, yeah, it's a different. It could be different gold. Okay, it's a different gold. I mean, it's gold is a gold, man. So it's different gold. It says gold. It's gold. It different, maybe different boobs too. You know. <laughs> maybe it's different vagina. <laughs> Oh, funny, Hassan. Anyway, Hassan, well, I, I'm really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam today. And yeah. uh, we pray for you. I ask all the people, see, I say we, we, because we are we. We ask all mm -hmm. the people here to pray for our friend here. So he will read the Bible, he will see the truth, and the truth will set him free. And my friend Hassan, I am happy to have you. And I, I say thank you to the Lord to send us this gentleman today. He is a very nice person. And uh, Thank you. Is, uh, I Thank can you tell, for calling me. Uh, you know, you text me, so I called you, right? So, yeah. and this is your, this is the text. Let me show. It's okay if I show people the text you send me. Yeah, you can show it if you want. Yeah, he, you know, he texts me saying, "You." I send, didn't expect you to start calling me. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I, I thought you wouldn't. I was call asking him. Muslims to call, so I said, "Okay, we got a fish." <laughs> <laughs> So you said Allah comes down. What is the problem with this? This is the text you sent me, and then I called you. I did not even text you back, correct? Yeah, you just called straight away. Yeah. So, uh, what's wrong with Allah come down? We showed you what's wrong with Allah coming down. And now yeah. we pray that our my, our friend Hassan, he is not going to look down no more. He will look to heaven, and he will seek yeah. the guidance of of Christ, and he soon will call us, and he will say, "I accept to be a follower of Christ." For there is no better name than his name, 
and there's no better teaching than his teaching and there's no savior except him and I want him to save me I will be happy to hear you Hassan calling me soon and announcing that to the world and then my mm -hmm. friend the Bible says there's a happiness will be in the kingdom of the father happiness yeah for one person one soul is saved so don't think you are not important for him you are very important in Christianity we as individuals each one of us he, he is considered a child of God so when you accept Jesus you are not a slave of anyone no more you are going to be a child of God and a child of God he have a father and this father will take care of you will take care of your problem will take care of your pain and will take care of all things you have in your life doesn't mean that you will have a wonderful life and nobody will hate you and nobody will discriminate you and nobody will try to hurt you no but who care what they do when mm -hmm. I am saved with him and my salvation is granted for him I am putting my trust I'm giving my trust and by him I'm saved so people can be killed but you will die once anyway people can be harmed people can be in pain but you will be blessed for every drop of tear you have in your eyes for the Lord will bless you for it so my friend I say to you I will be happy to receive a call from you if you yeah. like to say anything to those who Muslims are listening you call me as a Muslim you leave as a Muslim what do you like to say go ahead um, I just want to say that there's a lot of things that you don't get taught in your madrasas and the mosque and you might want to look into it a bit more but thank you so much for the conversation and I'll look at more of your videos and yeah have a nice day thank you Hassan take care God bless you bye, bye, -bye. all right well this is the end of our conversation uh, with our friend Hassan uh, we really you know uh, wish that Muslims always they think carefully about what they believe in Okay, we have Mr. Rafat. How are you, Rafat? Hello. Yes. Uh, are you live? Sorry? Are you live? Yes, I'm live. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm an ex-Muslim. And, uh, well, I am actually trying to figure out Bible. So, I have a question. Are you willing to answer that? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, I can take out the words but i think it was in matthew where uh, christ says something about uh, not marrying a divorcee woman and that uh, means uh, it so, will say, be an say adultery again, say, say again please story so what uh, here uh, here jesus christ talks about uh, not marrying a divorcee woman hmm. like a woman who got divorced okay. and that would lead to adultery i don't understand that well because a woman she is divorced because of adultery so she is adulteress. So Mary. No, but then why would a man marry her and that would be an adultery? Because she is divorced of adulteress. So she is an adulteress. And now she is committing sin. And uh, because of her sin, she is divorced. So marrying a woman who is divorced from a man uh, because of adultery is adultery. Why? Because simply marriage between men and women nobody can break it she is still considered as married to the previous husband even though they are divorced for god okay so when god you know approved the marriage the man and the woman they became one one person so now yeah uh, a, a, a person he divorced his wife okay uh, let us say yeah. she did something wrong but still she is married in the eye of god okay. she is married so you are marrying a married, yeah. you are marrying a married woman she is not really divorced. Secondly, but, if she is divorced because yeah. of adultery, she is a, you know, yeah. that is the reason not to marry her because you are, you know, you're having you're having an agreement of marrying someone. He practices it. He doesn't see a problem. But with like, it. 
yeah i obviously like it does make sense at a point but does it still apply like if what if the husband was abusive or something wrong is happening in that marriage see, and she can get see, a certain ad- chance okay. ad- ad- adultery in the bible is not only about a person having sex out of marriage so the bible says that the earth committed adultery the earth the whole earth so earth committing adultery does not mean the earth having sex adultery in the bible is committing great sin against god so if a man is abusive okay. to his wife he is committing adultery too because he, okay. made a, he made a promise this is not against the women it's against both yeah so the man who made a promise to be good to his wife and he break his promise he is committing adultery too so the woman she can okay. get rid of him you know what i mean so yeah. let's say a man, yeah, sure. a man he marry a woman he beat her every day from the morning he start beating her all right okay yeah well this is not a husband this is an idiot he's a criminal so does that mean yeah. that the man he can do that and jesus give him license uh, because now she cannot divorce no adultery is not specifically only about cheating in fact adultery is a great sin against god so whoever break the the, the command or let's say the, the agreement is the one breaking it is the one committing the sin you know what i mean yeah okay. yeah totally yeah so when you break let's say me, me and you we, we agree that the one uh, you know let's say you are from india yeah i'm from india okay let's say i'm an indian too i love indian people so let's say i'm from india and now we agree that the yeah. one who sell a uh, secret of india to the enemies he is a betra- he's betraying the country we agree me and you right yeah sure and then an indian person he go and have a contract with someone he saw the secret of the country to the enemies that person he is betraying his country too yeah even though he is not the one who saw the secrets you know you know what i mean okay okay so yes. in christianity our marriage is not marriage between two people is marriage with agreement of god so we yeah make... it's like one soul becoming one exactly. uh, two souls becoming one yeah but under yeah. what under the command of god under the god is exists there it's not just a it's not a sexual contract you know what i mean yeah it's not a yes, sexual yes, contract. Totally. So there's a unity. This is why the Bible says the man he raped his uh, his parents, and he came with his one, one echad. Even the same word for use God, echad. So the the, the oneness of of uh, of the, the two people is happening not because of the nature of the body, but because the nature of God. God he made them one. So when one of them, or maybe two of them, they broke that command and they broke that oneness, that happened. Uh, uh, you know, they betray. God command. Yeah. And then they have to see, okay. you know, at the same time, by okay. the way, uh, even, TV, even, if a, TV, uh, even if a person do that, yes. you see, God is, you yes. know, we say God is always, is, is all merciful, right? So there's people, they have, yeah. they go through things, their husband is abusive, their husband is bad, their husband is doing crazy stuff to them. Uh, a man, he stopped having sex with his wife, a man, he tried to punish her, whatever, crazy stuff. You know, life is full of stories. So we don't judge the women because uh, uh, of a, a word divorce we judge okay. you know the, the bible says from their fruits what she did. from their fruits you shall know them so you don't say okay. you don't say she have a tree yeah and she she left that a tree no we have to look at the tree fruits then we will know why she left if the tree fruits was good and then the woman she yeah. left the husband who have a good fruit she have no excuse she is breaking the order or breaking the command. Same for yes. the man. If the women she have good fruits, why he leave? You know, just because he find a new wife. Yeah. Maybe she is pretty. Exactly. She's more pretty. She is younger. This is what men do, right? The the men. Yeah. They go after women and, uh, as as long as yes. she is beautiful. You know, when she is beautiful, he call her honey. He yeah. open he open the door for her. He buy her flower. You know, and then she give him first baby, and then yeah. second baby, and then she have a Billy, and then you look at her. Look what was what, what I have. You go in the street, you see a nice, good looking woman wearing jeans. Suddenly, this is here. This is his new honey. You forget about the previous honey. You know. So Jesus was fighting those people who they are changing women just for the sake of their pleasure. Are you with me? Got you, CP. All, all, all got it inside my head. Thank you so much. Yeah. And so, um, so my friend, I would I, like to tell you like, yeah. 
uh, I was I was born Muslim, and then uh, I was discovering this ex-Muslim channel. Then I came across your channel, and that helped me so much. Like even now, I make my parents question their faith with your words. Like I ask them the exact question that you do, and they are like shocked. They are like completely like they have no idea what to say. And I'm so glad because you did this and. Thank you so much. And just one last thing. Okay. Um, I'm I'm trying to convert to Christianity. I'm trying to read Bible and everything. But uh, where do you recommend me to start? And how do I pray? I just don't understand. How do I pray? You know, first of all, we have uh, we have to understand what the word prayer mean. What what pray mean? Like for when I was a Muslim, like it was usually like five times a day going yeah, and so you, uh, talking you, to. This is not a prayer, yeah. really. This is just a, a silly thing. You are repeating yourself. You are repeating actually what Allah is saying. Yes. You know? So this yes. is stupid. I mean, I call you, imagine, like let's say you give me a phone number and I call you and I say, uh, uh, my name is Falafel. I like Falafel. Praise be to the Falafel. The Falafel is wonderful. Falafel, nice to meet you, Falafel. Good to be by Falafel, I mean. But this is what I said to you, what you said to me, and I call yeah. you to repeat what you said to me, this is stupid. So in Christianity, we don't have such a silly thing. Prayer is a relationship between you and God. And you do not need me to teach you how to pray. This is, should be something coming from your heart. If it is something written by somebody else, this is not even your prayer no more. If I write for you a prayer and says, pray like this. So when they asked Jesus, he said, how will you pray? Jesus was not teaching really how to pray he was teaching them what to include in your prayer. What is the most important is the important is to forgive others before you ask for forgiveness. So we have something it's called the Lord Prayer. You can search it in Google and you can read it. It's beautiful. Yeah. But he was not okay. teaching them really how to pray as much he was teaching them what is making your prayer accepted. And that the most important things is to ask for forgiveness only if you forgive to others. If you are not willing to forgive to others, so why that you are asking the Lord to forgive you? You know what I mean? That gave me goosebumps totally. So thank you so much. Yeah. So why I want to pray, and uh, is, is my prayer about me playing yoga? You know, like in Azong or Indian, like the the, the, yeah. the Hindu, they have the yoga, which is nothing but self-esteem and self-worship. You know, I don't like yeah. such a, a practice because I forget about the whole world and I focus on myself. In, in Jesus' name, we don't focus on ourselves, we focus on others. So before I say, God, me, 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 save me, I say, God, I forgive the one who hurt me. I say, God, forgive to them what they did to me. And this is what Jesus did in the cross. He says, Father, forgive them. He was saying, to who? To those who did put nails a second ago in his arms and his feet. Father, forgive them. To who? To those who put an arrow in his chest. Father, forgive them. To who? To those who gave him vinegar as a drink. God forgive them, those who just insulted him. They said to him, if you are the son of God, save yourself. Yet he forget everything they did to him. And he said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So in order for us to be praying, we have to understand what the prayer is. And the prayer is start from me being a person who is not just thinking about my salvation, but I'm thinking about others. I'm a person who is serving the Lord, and in my way, there is things happened. Those things need support of the Lord. So I prayed for him. I say, Our Father, art of heaven, hallowed by the name, the kingdom come, they will be done. In earth or is in heaven. I'm confirming that God have authority of, upon me. I'm confirming that I am listening to him, and I am sure whatever he decided is going to happen. And then, right away, I, after I confirm that the Lord is my Lord, I say, and God forgive us for our transgress, as we forgive to those who transgress against us. So here I'm asking the Lord, I deserve your forgiveness because I forgive. If I don't forgive, I'm a hypocrite because I don't mean it. I'm selfish. I'm asking you to forgive me 
But yet, I'm not willing to forgive others for what they did to me. So why I deserve to be forgiven? So, will Jesus, uh, uh, my friend, I don't know your name, you do not need me to teach you how to pray. Just give your heart to the Lord, and He is listening. You see, each one of us is an individual. He have his own, let us say, aquarium. You know, a fish, he have an aquarium, right? They put him, you know, there's, there's a fish is in the river, there's a fish is in the ocean. That is a big aquarium. You are the same. Yeah. And you have an aquarium around you, and your aquarium is different from mine. There's somebody who's suffering is from a family members. Somebody is suffering from work people, from city people, from uh, whatever people around him. But all of us, we have suffering. This is the only thing we share together. But our suffering will be different. Our problem, our problems, doesn't matter what we call them. And if we depend on ourselves to solve our problems, mostly is not going to be something very successful. For always a human mm. being, think when he solves his problem, think only about himself. The most successful, so, you know, let's say, problem solving is when I am taking Christ as a guidance for me to solve my issues. So I don't think about myself only. I think about how I solve my problem, yet I forgive those who cause the problem for me. And that will clean me from inside from my hatred. You see, uh, hatred is like, you know, somebody, he, he, he eat healthy food, and then he take a two drop of poison with it. It's called hatred, you know, because the hatred yeah. of something is inside you, not inside the one you hate, you know, it is, it's hurting you. It's not hurting the one, the one maybe he don't even know about it. So when you have your hatred inside you, it's hurting you, it's bothering you. You can't be asleep, you can't enjoy your life because your hatred is killing you. So Jesus, he wanted you to get rid of your hatred in order to be hate free, and then you can be qualified to be a person who pray and talk to him, because you cannot be in the same level as I am when you are coming with your hatred and your madness and your evil. So we have not to think about our evil, our echo, our think about, about our yoga. We have to get out of the box and we have to be grateful for the Lord in the same time forgiveness giving for those who hurt us and then the Lord he will welcome us in our house is like having a card a membership and this membership says in order to get into my house your feet have to be clean and then you look at your feet and you see how you see how dirty it is I just step yeah. at the person in my way I just step at my friend in my way I just sent gossip about my friend I just made a lie about somebody so my feet is so dirty and then I'm going to go in the house of the Lord with dirty feet you are not qualified to enter so when you pray to the Lord my friend I advise you clean your feet forgive others who hurt you so the Lord will forgive you and that will make your feet cleaner from your sin because you decide not to do sure. again so Yes. Don't think as a Muslim when you see is uh, think about Christianity. Christ is different person, mm. different level, and we don't repeat prayer. Every day you can say a new prayer because every day you have a new problem. Every day tomorrow you might be a new person. Me, ten years ago is not me today. So if I say the yeah. same prayer, I'm fooling myself because my prayer ten years ago it was different from my prayer today. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> And if there's any other questions, I will be happy to hear you. No, no, no. Uh, and if I do have any question, I'll just type it out to you in Skype. You I'm just reading me. Bible. Usually I don't take a, a call from ex-Muslims because my job is to make people ex-Muslims. But listen, yes, yes, before, sir, obviously, before, obviously. before you leave, because now you said you are, yes. you, you are using my words to speak to your parents, and they don't know what yeah. I want to advise you. Don't use the word potato, okay? <laughs> 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 I will. Surely. Don't use it with your parents. That would not be nice. Um, and but but uh, it was so shocking for them as well. They were like, they don't know how to answer me now. They're like, if you don't want to believe, don't believe. I don't care. It's like, okay. <laughs> okay. You see, always when you show people something and it's about belief, it's going to be shocking for them. But uh, if you are consistent and you show them proofs and reference, by time they will give up and they will they, they will they will they will come to the truth. You know. You can deny. Yeah. You can deny that your let us say like somebody saying to me, uh, your socks smell, which is true by the way. So 
uh, and then I say, no, 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 they smell so good. And you know, like, you know, uh, and then one day I was alone and, I, uh, and my foot would be close to my, to like, I put it in the top of the other leg and like, what the heck? The smell is disgusting. So I can deny it for some time, but for lo how long? Yeah. The smell is going to grow bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger and bigger and it became a bomb. So that, that bomb day is coming. Just be consistent and they will leave. But let me ask you, as long you are saying, you are thinking of Christianity, what yeah. about me and you now? Even though I'm here for many hours, but I will be happy if I can help you to accept Christ today. What is stopping you yeah, from accepting I'm, I'm, Christ? Yeah, I need it. I need it. Okay, so what is stopping you from accepting Christ today? Uh, I think I, uh, the way I treated Islam, because I wanted to get to know as much as I can. So I'm not saying I don't want to, but I really want to. That's why I'm reading Bible and I'm getting to know about everything that Jesus preaches. Okay. So yeah. So anything? There is anything you know? I mean, Christ is a wonderful person. I don't know if you, uh, how you think about him for now. And for me, I do. I do. Yeah. Because uh, okay, CP, I'll get a little personal. When I was a child, I was sexually assaulted, mm -hmm. and I was going to a missionary school. I was uh, there was a church, and I don't know why. For some reason, I always go to the chapel and just talk to Jesus one to one, even though I was not born in a Christian family, but I just felt some type of peace. Mm -hmm. And now that I come to at the age of 20, and I realize that what I've been brought up into and like how my parents think of the world, I do not personally stand by a lot of things that Muhammad did. And that's why I was like, you know what, I want to go back to that gut feeling that I had when I was a child, when I was getting abused. And I just wanted to go to the chapel and just talk to God, just talk to Jesus, no matter which form, which person anyone wants to call him. And I did that. And now that I'm discovering, and even I saw the case for Christ, I I'm, I, I was reading the book as well, and it formed my faith in Christ. And yeah. So when you were when you were a Muslim, you were you were sexually abused. You said, and uh, the, is that the reason you left Islam? Uh, no, but the reason, the thing that Muhammad did to Aisha, that mm. did not felt right to me as a abuser, like as a mm. child abuse victim. So mm, okay. I wanted to go back to that, and then I discovered a lot of flaws in Islam, uh, scientific flaws, a, a contradiction in Quran itself. And a lot of things that just didn't make sense to me, like Shaitan sitting in your nose, Shaitan being everywhere, like all the stupidity. That's true. And hold on, yeah, you see, that's uh, right. hold on, hold on. Come on, I saw once, well, let me I'll tell you, this is a true story, Sahih Bukhari. <laughs> once I was asleep, and, and my uncle wife, she opened the door, and she said that she saw two shoes coming from my nose. <laughs> you know, but at that time, there's no video, true sister. This, I swear by Allah, yeah. it's a true story. And then I woke up in the morning and she told me, and then I believe that this is Shaitan was sleeping in my nose. True story, true story. This is what we can do, you know. So they fabricate stories and they you know, repeat a lie, and then you believe in a lie. But let, let me let me go with you here. Listen, you see, we don't want to believe in Christ because we went through a hard time. We hmm. want to believe in Christ for he is the savior it doesn't matter how good the time or how bad the time is because if I go to a person because I need help in a moment then I might leave that person when the help is not needed you know what I mean yeah so don't think about Christ the same like this so I'm not going to believe in Christ because uh, let us say I'm sick and I need to be healed and then, okay, I'm healed now. I do not need Christ no more. Bye-bye, Christ. I'm going to go to night club. So we don't want to do that. We want to believe in Christ for the quality of a Christ, not because of our needs, because our needs change. And if we change God, the bent in our needs, then we will never have God, and we will never have faith, and we will never have any value because we are people who change their you know, they're color like a lizard, you know, some lizard, they go in the yeah. rock. We are fragile minded people. Yeah. Yes. So we don't do that. We want to believe in Christ if he is good for his goodness. That's it. If he is good to be our Lord, then he is our Lord. If he's not, he is not. Not because I need him today and maybe I will not need him tomorrow. So for me, I prefer you to think about Christ as salvation but not because he have a boat. 
to grab your hand for the moment. And then after he grab your hand and he deliver you to the land, you say to him bye bye. Next, nice meeting you. <laughs> I want you yes. to think about being with the Christ. You want to be in his boat all the time, regardless if you need or don't. For this is your joy, and this is what you love to be. People who love, they don't love because of things somebody he have. As an example, you know you might see a a, a woman. Uh, she loved a poor man and you wonder why she, mm. what she loved about him maybe he don't even look good but she loved him yeah you know that is love actually that convinced me more that she loved him because he have nothing to offer still she want to be with him that is telling me that she have something special to this person same with God most of us you know we cheat in ourselves we claim that we want God because we love him but the fact we want something from him I want yeah. to be. I want to buy a house. I want to buy a car. I want God give me money. God make me successful. My God make me pass the exam. God find me a nice handsome uh, husband, please God. You know, like okay. So God is like you know, like a, like going to grocery shopping. And he is your is like a credit card. You know, he is the one who will give yeah. you what you want. This is not the God we want, and this is not Jesus. We want God, and we will love in God even if we have a horrible life in our life suffering is not a sign that god is not looking at me it can be the opposite most mm -hmm. of people actually who don't have suffering they are spoiled and they end dying from drugs because they were spoiled you will notice that an indian person who come from india to america who suffer in mm -hmm. his life he is way more successful than an american born person an immigrant, he come to America 20 years after, he have a nice house, he have a nice car, he have a nice uh, job, he have nice, uh, good, good income. A person who is born in this country, he did not suffer to get a visa and to travel and to get the green card and to get the citizenship, he suffers zero. Still, he cannot even find a job. Why? Because he did not go through suffering. So for us as a Christian, yeah. suffering is the same as a process of making steel. Iron is a steel only when it goes through special kind of suffering, special kind of a treatment. So suffering can make you a stronger person is not a bad thing. So always you need to think about Jesus, that he is going to be your guidance to be strongest or stronger. A better person, not a credit card who will buy you things, or he will buy you a ticket to heaven, or he will buy you a car. He is a savior, not a business management person. Are you with me? Yes, yes, totally. Like, I'm just a little emotional. So what do you think about accepting Christ? You know, if you feel like you you, you want to accept him, feel free. I cannot, I cannot hold you. Yeah, I do want to. I do want to. I believe in him. So why, like, you don't so... Say, why, you don't, why you don't accept him? Then why you don't say, I believe in Jesus. I, I really want to, I want to be his, I want to be the child of God right now. Yeah, I, I do want to be a child of God. I do want to be a Christian. I do want to believe in Jesus Christ, everything. that I think every doubt I had, you just cleared it out. You just made it more clearer. So why now you speak to him, let everybody hear you. The Lord is the Lord, he says, every two of you who mention my name, I will be between them. I will be the third. So the Lord right now is listening to you. And you can say to him whatever you want. You can say to him, I accept you as Lord, as Savior. You can say, say to him, I'm thinking about whatever you want. I'm, I'm not going to push you to say, but as long you feel it, I think this is the best choice. I was saying to the person before you, I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. I do not know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow. Who knows? Mm. I want to be saved. I don't want to do gambling. And as long as I trust that he is the one, why I want to wait until tomorrow. So my sister in Christ, you are a Christian yet, but I can say, I can feel that you have him in your heart. Why we don't announce today that we accept the Christ as our Lord, as Savior? Go ahead. Say whatever you want. Uh, so, like, I just say it right now. Yeah, you, do, you, yeah. do you like to accept Jesus as your Lord? 
yeah i i do accept jesus as my lord and savior and now i do see it clearer whatever i suffered through just made me a better person and that is because god wanted me to be like this and i i i'm just so thankful i'm just so grateful for for listening to me in those tough times for hearing me out when i was crying in the chapel as a child and i felt so at peace when i was with him when i was just talking with him like a best friend he he is my best friend i do believe that i still say that to everyone like he, lord you are my best friend you are always going to be there with me and i know whatever you have in life for me and for everyone around me is for the best and i really hope i can forgive those people i hope you give that forgiveness in my heart that i can forgive those people who who just broke me so bad but thank you for everything and forgive everyone that's it and i just don't want to hold that grudge so i can repair myself amen i mean i think i need to learn how to pray from you <laughs> you just say an amazing prayer and you can it's recorded listen to yourself later you, I will. <laughs> you just you just did an amazing prayer. I need to learn from you how to pray now. You see, you called me out to, <laughs> a five minutes ago. I was teaching how to pray, and now I'm listening to her prayer. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. I I always believe that God is my best friend, and I always talk to him like a best friend. So I don't want to say let, let I don't want to say anything to him because he knows. Let me tell you what happened. You see, because yeah. you spoke from your heart, your prayer is touching everybody listening. including me i was listening i'm a person who have a difficulty to listen for long you know because always people say something wrong and i was waiting for you to say something wrong you could i it was so beautiful so your your prayer was really beautiful and because it's coming from your heart it because it was you praying not someone else it was real it was thank you valuable it was very touchy and i advise you to listen to yourself after we finish go and listen to what you just said it's amazing i let your parents hear it because it's going to touch your heart honestly so oh that is too fast now that is too soon okay they will flip out <laughs> yeah so i i say to you i'm so grateful for the lord that you call me even though usually i don't take calls from ex muslims but the yeah. lord he always he, you know he is he 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 send he send the good ones in my way and today he sent me two good people one maybe from yeah. pakistan the i don't know what is from me as well he was amazing yeah the lord is amazing and his work is amazing and i want you my sister you know to to never give up with your parents first you need to remember to to love them you know even if they are yeah. not accepting christ you have to love them and talk to them based on love not based on they are wrong based on love you guide them based on love you bring them to christ and love never fail the bible says love never fail what fail is when we don't have love in our action so would love you will win and today you are a winner for the bible says the lord said a happiness in the kingdom of the father will be for one saved soul so today the lord himself he have a great happiness because you today accepted him and he love you thank you so much cp thank you my sister for thank you so much any time and if you want me to talk to your parents in private which is something i do always by the yeah. way in private because mm. sometimes they might be you know they don't like to be in public you just tell me when you know and i will be happy to give them my time they, they speak english yeah i do because, i do because you know my urdu is not so it's so so you know <laughs> <laughs> i like i i cannot speak urdu that well as well oh, so i i are, actually so do not know about... yeah okay <laughs> it's actually a little shame because i cannot speak bengali or hindi that well but i think english is my most strongest language for me I speak all languages, but what happened? I will tell you the true, true story. I am Zulkarnain. Yeah. Somebody hit me in my head, and the first <laughs> horn came. And when they hit me, the first horn came. I first the, the Urdu language, and then I came again. I told them worship Allah, and then they hit me with the second uh, hammer, and I get the second horn. And this is how I forgot my English. So now I don't know how to speak English. I don't speak. I, you know, I don't know what I'm speaking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay my sister well i'm happy for you thank you so much good to have you and i will be happy again to if you have a friends who they are muslims or etc invite them and we will be happy to have them 
live on air with us. I will. And the Lord is our. Thank you so much. Right. Thank God you. bless you. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Well, the Lord has blessed us today with two people, and that is that is so beautiful. Uh, We close the sky for today. That's enough. We are already here for four hours or five hours, actually. But it was wonderful for or five hours. So uh, I want to say, guys, you know, this is how important it is uh, to be grateful for what we have. Uh, you know, sometimes people they post comment about uh, like we start today talking about people saying how to talk. But as you see, how we talk is what make what we do successful. Be very natural, but not evil. When we say words, we say it as it is, because we are not trying to sugarcoat things here. A Christian person is a person who say truth as it is, not a person who supposedly not supposed to say certain words. Who said so? As long the words are said, because they are there, and we are trying to expose a cult, then you have to say them. So, we are grateful, and me, myself, I feel great that the Lord, He always provide, provide me with good ones, and even the bad ones, he, they help my mission, because the bad ones, they help to expose us now. But please, don't send me comment, uh, tell me, teaching me how to talk to Muslims. If you can do better, go. Go, open your channel, do better. I will be happy to see you making a million Muslims leave Islam a day. But it's very embarrassing that the person he never spoke to a Muslim, he never made a Muslim leave Islam, is coming and he tried to teach you how to talk. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Don't do that. Don't be a hypocrite. If you can do better, who's holding you? Go ahead. So I want to say, guys, thank you very much. I want to say uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, 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 for all the support we receive and the support we receive number one is from our Lord our Savior for people always they try to put us down people they try always to find something wrong about you they focus on your wrong not in your good so a person who love a person and those who are teaching us how to love a person who love a person, he will not see the wrong really, as much he will see the good, because love is in action. But when you don't have love, then you see the wrong only. And even if the wrong is not even wrong, but because you don't have love, everything for you about that person is wrong. This is how we judge each other, and this is how we, you know, we try to convince ourselves that we are better by putting people in the wrong. But at the end of the day, wrong is wrong and good is good. It doesn't matter what you call it. In the world today, people, they try to switch names. They call good bad and they call bad good. But who care? The good is still good, still even if they call it bad. So they say to you, Jesus is bad. But who dare to prove that the good Jesus is bad? Call him as you wish. Name him as you wish. And make fun of him as you wish. He is victorious. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, I say to you, glory to him. The glory to the Lord who made the sister pray such a prayer, powerful prayer. Go and hear it again. And maybe you can cut it and post it and teach people how to pray. A person praying for the first time to Jesus. He did the prayer way better than many Christians who claim to be Christians for many years. We appreciate her. And I pray that her family, they will accept Jesus soon. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel if you like it. And I'm subscribed if you don't like it. Because at the end of the day, you like it or not, the Lord is with us. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Victory in his name we earn. And victory in his name is counted and victory in his name is going to be remembered thank you god bless you